Can you hear me? Can you see me? If yes, just type yes in the chat box. Evening. Evening, everyone. That's great. So let's begin. Let's quickly start with the lecture. Let's start with the lecture. And uh, let me start sharing the screen. Hi, evening. Okay, so let's quickly revise. Let me adjust the screen once. Let's start. Okay, so let's So yeah, let's begin with the lecture. Let's quickly revise. Jo bhi abhi tak kiya. Let's quickly revise that. And uh, yes, we had started with inflation. Quickly looking at the topics and all and moving ahead. Inflation we had started with. Then there was contents of inflation. Us pe kya kiya tha? Humne definition pada, types and reasons pada, impacts of inflation, associated terms, measures, how to control it. Ye saari chiz hum log ne dekh liye. And then we had shifted to understanding the monetary policy and the uh, and the concept of liquidity. Fine or Uh, one thing, one update. Uh, I hope you guys have read. I hope you guys are going through the newspapers. There's one update. क्या है update? Can anyone tell me? In monetary policy and concept of liquidity, जो हम लोगों ने पढ़ा है उसमें कुछ तो update है. क्या है update? Can anyone tell me? If you have been reading newspapers, you may have come across some terms, some topics. At least I'm hoping कि अभी आपको थोड़ा समझेगा वो सब terms. By the way, there was something called monetary policy committee meeting which happened and uh rbi governor uh, shaktikant das had come up with the new repo rate and reverse repo rate. yes during its new repo rate reverse repo rate he has came up with actually speaking it's not even new it's something which is old they have not changed it to that to that they have not changed it and they have kept it the same we'll just have a look once theek hai ek bar uh, in the in in the between of, in middle of the lecture or maybe in the end of the lecture i'll take you once to the website of rbi or to one of those articles Yes, it is. It is. It has not been changed. It will not be changed. Very true. Repo is four. Reverse repo is three point three five. Correct. It's three point. Yes, it's three point three five. Correct. So this is something which we have already read with. I'm. I. I just hope that जो हम लोगों ने static part में पढ़ा है, you are able to now connect with the current affairs. I hope you are able to connect with the current affairs. Okay. Yeah, anyways, I will. I'll take you once to one of the Chrome pages. I'll take you one of the to the uh, current affairs pages. Uh, I mean articles, and at that point of time also we'll discuss. What happened? 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 What happened we started with the topic of poverty we had discussed what what is poverty types of poverty poverty cycle in india associated terms strategies by the government yes it is 3.35 max it's 3.35 and then it was there's q and a so yes sir cheeze humne discuss kiya i think last time we had also started with uh, the topic of employment okay this again we started with and uh, i had told you earlier also that this is the human human aspect of economics This is not hardcore economics. जो अभी तक हम लोग पढ़ रहे थे जैसे GDP, inflation, monetary policy, वो सब जो हम लोग पढ़ रहे थे वो ये नहीं है. This is something which is more human side of economics, human angle of economics. So उसमें poverty आता है, उसमें unemployment वगैरह आता है. ये सब उसके parts. ठीक है. And this is the part in which you will have to by heart a bit. आपको थोड़ा by heart वगैरह करना पड़ेगा. That's so the disclaimer which I had given you last time. ठीक है. Anyways, let's read about. Let's try to understand about this. Just one second. Just one second. So yes, we had started with this topic. You guys will have to tell me. How many? 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 How
ठीक है तो यू विल हैव टू टेल मी हम लोगों ने कितना ये टॉपिक किया सो जस्ट टेल मी दिस डेफिनेशंस हो गया मेरे ख्याल से नेक्स्ट इज कॉजेस ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट हैज दिस बीन डन डेफिनेशंस कॉजेस ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट फिर टाइप्स ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एसोसिएटेड टर्म टाइप्स ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट मेरे ख्याल से नहीं हुआ आई थिंक टाइप्स ऑफ क्योंकि ये दोनों में नहीं हुआ यहां पे भी नहीं हुआ और जनरल बैच पे टर्म टेकिंग उसमें भी नहीं हुआ मेरे ख्याल से सो टाइप्स ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट नहीं हुआ मेरे ख्याल से एसोसिएटेड टर्म्स भी नहीं हुआ और क्यू एन ए ठीक है तो ये तो लास्ट वाला पार्ट है वो देखेंगे ठीक है बट देन आई 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 थिंक सो लास्ट टाइम वी जस्ट स्टार्टेड विद दिस टॉपिक वी हैड फिनिश विद द टॉपिक ऑफ पॉवर्टी एंड वी हैड जस्ट स्टार्टेड विद द टॉपिक ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट उसमें सिर्फ डेफिनेशंस पे हम लोग हमने किया था ओके फाइन आज आज हम लोग करेंगे आज शायद से अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट पूरा का पूरा डिटेल में होगा ठीक है एंड सो इट्स वी फिनिश्ड कॉजेस वी हैड फिनिश्ड कॉजेस नकुल इज सेइंग दैट एनीवेज थोड़ा सुपरफिशियली कॉजेस जस्ट स्टार्टेड केविन इज सेइंग तो कॉजेस मोस्ट लाइकली डेफिनेशन तो हो गए सडनली कॉजेस हुआ है नहीं हुआ फ्यू आर सिंग ये फ्यू आर सिंग नो विल डू वन थिंग विल रीड इट वंस ठीक है एक बार ऊपर से देख लेंगे एंड देन विल मूव ऑन ठीक है इट्स नॉट दैट बिग अ टॉपिक सो एक बार देख लेंगे एंड लेट्स लेट्स प्रोसीड लेट्स प्रोसीड सो यस वी वर डिस्कसिंग व्हाट वी वर डिस्कसिंग डेफिनेशंस ऑफ इन डेफिनेशंस प्राइमरीली पर्टेनिंग टू अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड लेबर रेट एंड एवरीथिंग सो हम लोगों ने देखा था तीन टाइप के लोग होते हैं एक तो वो जिनके पास बहुत काम रहता है ठीक है दिस आर द काइंड ऑफ पीपल जिसके पास बहुत काम है ठीक है दे ऑलरेडी वर्क देन देर आर दोस्त who are willing to work but unko kaam koi de nahi raha theek hai and they do not get much work and then there are those jinko kaam mile na mile kuch farak nahi karte unke paas already bahut paisa hai theek hai kaam kare to bhi theek hai nahi kare to bhi theek hai theek hai there are this kind of people theek hai to aise teen category ke log hote hain usme se kaun se category ke log will consider to find out the employment scenario in the country will consider these two categories you consider these two categories matlab those who have work and those who are willing to work those who are not willing to work they are kept out of the loop those who have work and those who are willing to work they are the ones who will primarily be considered when calculating the uh, when can calculating the employment scenario in the country theek hai to aise hum log ne baad mein hum log ne dekha tha ki definitions kya tha employment matlab kya hota hai employment is the thing uh, sorry unemployment is nothing but it occurs when a person who is actively searching for employment is unable to find work theek hai so he should be actively searching for an unemployment and then if he is not able to find the work then he is said to be unemployed ठीक है एंड द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंट मेजर ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस फर्दर सो एनएसएसओ नेशनल सैंपल सर्वे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डिफाइंस अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड अन सॉरी डिफाइंस एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑन द फॉलोइंग एक्टिविटी स्टेटस ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल क्या फर्स्ट वर्किंग मतलब जो लोग ये वाले ये कैटेगरी के लोग द वन हु आर एंगेज इन एन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी दे आर सेड टू बी एम्प्लॉयड देन द अदर्स सीकिंग और अवेलेबल फॉर अ work that is unemployed so ye log these people will be considered as unemployed and the third is neither seeking nor available for work so this is the third category of people who are neither seeking work and who are not available for work okay so this is the third category ye nssu bhi aise recognize karta hai it's a body which is there under ministry of statistics okay so ye this body says there are these three kind of people and of these three kind of people the first two constitute labor force so it is this people who are in search of employment and the people who already are employed these are the two kind of people okay jinko which which will, who will be considered when you calculate labor force of a country you don't cal- calculate these kind of people you calculate these and these who are in search of employment and who are already employed these two will be considered in the labor force of the country and unemployment rate is the percent of the labor force matlab basically percentage of labor force matlab ye denominator mein rahega ye dono denominator mein rahenge that is without work so Govinda will be in the numerator, and uh, Akshay Kumar, Ajay Devgan, and Govinda will be in the denominator. Fine. So this is something like this. The this is the uh, uh, formula: unemployment rate is equal to unemployed workers divided by total workforce. I mean total labour force multiplied by hundred. So yeah, I'm only last time. Ah, uh, partly, I guess uh, everyone should. This is basically just a revision for you guys. Okay, let's move on. The next is. Cause of unemployment now. Few are saying that yes, it started. Few are saying that it didn't start. Let's quickly read them. It's nothing but I have listed few topics. Okay, these are nothing but topics which can be considered as the causes of unemployment. Topics like what there is a large population. So when there is a large population, of course, vis-a-vis that large population, if you are not able to generate uh, enough jobs, then there will be high unemployment scenario in the country. Considering India's situation right now, yes, we have a very large population. Are we able to generate? proportionate amount of jobs no we are not able to generate 
So should we expect unemployment? Yes, we should expect unemployment. We should expect unemployment. Okay. The next is low or no educational levels and vocational skills of working population. Now, how many of you guys feel that जो भी आपको सिखाया जाता है? I mean, this is I guess in many shots of आगे कहीं लिखा है. Okay, I guess नहीं लिखा. But anyways, how many of you guys feel कि even if you are read, even if you are educated, and even if you go into the industry. How many of you guys feel that there is a distinct difference between what is taught in the colleges and school and what is required in the industry right now? How many of you guys feel that? If you feel, just type yes in the chat box. Just type yes in the chat box. That there is a distinction, that there is a difference between what is taught in the schools and so many many years coming up. What is taught in the schools and colleges is completely different from what is required in the colleges. Okay, there is there is a distinction. So that's. the kind of difference that's the kind of thing which creates unemployment now what has been taught in the schools and colleges although we may be educated although we may be uh, having good skills in the education we may have good got good grades fifth box okay is it written there okay fine fine i i thought as if i've not written it fine so anyways yes thank thanks mai thanks to draw my attention here but then uh, yes it is written here as well and it is something which is written here that if you have no or low educational levels or vocational skills of working population then there is uh, a concern then you are likely to be unemployed and even if you have read and even even if you are employed still there may be a situation wherein uh, the uh, education you may have got in schools and colleges may be completely different from what is there in the what is what is demanded in the market now can you tell me something very recently which happened which is uh, which is basically nothing but an attempt to bridge this difference Can anyone tell me what actually recently happened, which at least aspires? Okay, Ravi has come up with the answer. In that, you could mean sir, no, no, not actually. Shripad, NEP, yes, yes, it's NEP. Very true, it's NEP. Sorry, all of you guys are correct. NEP, what was it? It's National Education Policy, which very recently came up. New Education, no, no, it was said to be New Education Policy on earlier. The Kasturi Ranjan report, the Kasturi Ranjan, they said New Education Policy. They said this government came and changed the name. The government now named it as national education policy. So NEP is national education policy. If I'm not wrong, fine. Earlier it was new education, as you says, uh, as you said, earlier it was uh, new education policy, but now it is national education policy. But anyways, uh, this this new policy actually talks about bridging the difference, bridging the difference of what is the demand in the industry with respect to what has been taught in the schools and colleges. Fine. So that is also let's hope it works. See, it's a policy. Let me tell you, Ravi, it's a policy, and policy is just the intention. just the intention implementation will come later in implementation will come in later stages and till that time rest assured aaj tak india mein aisa nahi ke policies aaye nahi hai bahut sari policies hai there have been several policies and many are so wonderful that if they would have been implemented till date if they would have been implemented till date india would have been possibly the uh, uh, super power of the world but bahut sare policies implement nahi kiye gaye they are just on paper ठीक है दिस आर पॉलिसीज पॉलिसी मतलब क्या को, कोई कमिटी ने रेकमेंड किया है गवर्नमेंट को कि आप ये इंप्लीमेंट कर सकते नाउ इट्स अ रेकमेंडेशन इट्स नॉट बाइंडिंग ऑन द गवर्नमेंट टू इंप्लीमेंट सो गवर्नमेंट मे नॉट इंप्लीमेंट गवर्नमेंट मे इंप्लीमेंट इट फाइन सो लेट्स होप इट वर्क्स एज रवि सेस ये लेट्स होप इट वर्क्स गोइंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट अह अह नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इनएडिक्वेट स्टेट सपोर्ट लीगल कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज लो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फाइनेंशियल एंड मार्केट लिंकेजेस टू no infrastructure and financial and market linkages to small cottage industries or small businesses making such enterprise unviable with cost and compliance overheads so basically we are talking about small and uh, uh, small cottage industries handicraft industries we are talking about those industries these industries are also meant to be really very large uh, area in which we can absorb a lot of population we can employ a lot of population okay but अनफॉर्चुनेट चीज क्या है कि यहाँ पे भी उनका लीगल कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज बहुत ज्यादा होता है देर इज नो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर विच दे हैव टू फेस ठीक है मेनी टाइम्स वी सी स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज और कॉटेज इंडस्ट्रीज वगैरह सिर्फ घर पे ही होती है दे डोंट इवन एव डिफरेंट सेटअप ठीक है तो वो घर पे ही होती है सो दे फेस द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फाइनेंशियल मार्केट लिंकेजेस होता नहीं है ठीक है मार्केट लिंकेजेस बेसिकली रूरल एरिया में ऐसा होता है दैट द रोड इज नॉट कम्प्लीटली मेड और The rural village is possibly not properly connected with all with the roads to the nearby market, and it floods every time. So the road is bad, jada. Isa sab hota hai. So there are many issues with the growth of small and medium enterprises, not just in the urban area but also in the rural area. And that's the reason why the small medium enterprise is not able to generate enough jobs, or else they could have, they would have. Okay, but there are many issues. There are many problems with that. 
ठीक है देन कम्स द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज अबाउट ह्यूज वर्क फोर्स एसोसिएटेड विद इनफॉर्मल सेक्टर ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ रिक्वायर्ड एजुकेशनल स्किल्स व्हिच इज नॉट कैप्चर्ड इन एन एनी एम्प्लॉयमेंट डेटा फॉर एग्जांपल डोमेस्टिक हेल्प कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्कर्स वेरी ट्रू सो ऐसा भी है दैट देयर आर मेनी पीपल हु आर एम्प्लॉयड इन दोस काइंड ऑफ जॉब्स व्हिच वी डू नॉट काउंट इन द एम्प्लॉयमेंट सिनेरियो जो एनएसएस और कैलकुलेट कर रहा है वो एनएसएस तो डज नॉट कैलकुलेट द काइंड ऑफ पीपल व्हिच इन फॉर्मल टर्म्स इज कॉल्ड एज वल्नरेबल एम्प्लॉयमेंट ठीक है आगे जाके हम लोग पढ़ेंगे देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट उसमें एक वल्नरेबल एम्प्लॉयमेंट भी आता है और वो वल्नरेबल एम्प्लॉयमेंट वाला पार्ट इज नॉट कैप्चर्ड इन एनी एम्प्लॉयमेंट सिनेरियो नाउ दिस वाज समथिंग व्हिच वाज ये थोड़े टाइम पहले ये पॉइंट और इसके आजू बाजू का एक पॉइंट एक बहुत बड़े पर्सनैलिटी ने कुछ तो इसके ऊपर कमेंट किया था और ही वॉज इन अफिक्स कैन एनिवन टेल मी कौन था वो कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी कौन से चीज की वजह से आई थी कैन एनिवन गिव मी अम्स basically informal sector not can captured in calculation of the employment scenario of the country basically informal sector not calculated in employment scenario of the country ye wala jo part hai theek hai can anyone tell me exactly kya controversy hua tha iske bare mein if you have been reading news if you are following news papers and contract workers yes contract workers are calculated but i'm not talking about contract workers i'm talking about some informal सेक्टर में से भी वल्नरेबल सेक्टर लाइक डोमेस्टिक हेल्प वर्कर्स लाइक कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्कर्स सो ऐसे कुछ होते हैं कैन एन गिव मी एन एग्जांपल कि कहां पढ़ा था आपने ऐसा कहां पे देखा था एनीवेयर एनीथिंग इफ यू हैव रीड यू हैव कम अक्रॉस ओके लेट मी गिव यू अ हिंट लेट मी गिव यू अ हिंट इट्स समथिंग टू डू विद पकोड़ा हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ दिस पकोड़ा कुछ पढ़ा है किसी ने इसके बारे में कुछ सुना है किसी ने कमेंट किया हो क्या था ये यू हैड कमेंटेड यू जस्ट टेल मी द नेम ऑफ द पर्सन एंड आई टेल यू दिस पीएम पीएम अमिशा टू रिगार्डिंग पकड़ा बिजनेस नो इट्स इट्स ध्रू इट्स वेरी ट्रू इट्स द टॉप नॉच ऑफ बीजेपी यू आर क्लोज बट इट्स नॉट अमित शाह इट्स पीएम इट्स द पीएम ही हैड सेट इन वन ऑफ द इंटरव्यूज के क्या मेरे क्या जी जी न्यूज का इंटरव्यू चल रहा था और जी न्यूज था या फिर वो दीपक चौरे वाला इंटरव्यू चल रहा था और उन्होंने ऐसा बोला था दैट एम्प्लॉयमेंट तो है एम्प्लॉयमेंट कहाँ नहीं है आप ये बताओ कि आपके स्टूडियो के सामने जो पकोड़े करके बेच रहा है क्या उसको आप एम्प्लॉय गिनोगे या नहीं गिनोगे सो दिस वॉज समथिंग विच मोदी जी एट टोल्ड इन वन ऑफ द टीवी न्यूज चैनल इंटरव्यूज विच ही गिवन आई गेस इट वॉज जस्ट प्रायर टू द इलेक्शन एंड एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इट वॉज अ बिग कंट्रोवर्सी क्योंकि हाउ कैन प्रधानमंत्री ऑफ द कंट्री सी दिस थिंग दैट पकोड़ा वाला इज समथिंग व्हिच इज सेट टू बी अ रिलायबल जॉब दीज आर इन फैक्ट देयर इज अ डिफरेंट कैटेगरी ऑफ पीपल जो ये सब में आते हैं ये देयर इज अ डिफरेंट कैटेगरी ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट जिसमें ये सब लोग कैटेगराइज होते हैं एंड दे आर सेट टू बी वल्नरेबल एम्प्लॉयमेंट वल्नरेबल एम्प्लॉयमेंट मतलब क्या कि दीज आर दोस काइंड ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट हु डू नॉट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ सोशल सिक्योरिटी ठीक है उनके पास ना इंश्योरेंस रहता है उनका बॉस उनको ना इंश्योरेंस देता है ना उनका बॉस उनके लिए पीपीएफ भर रहा है या उनको बॉस उनके लिए कोई भी लाइक डिफरेंट स्कीम्स डिफरेंट सोशल सेक्टर स्कीम्स उनके लिए होता है अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट अलाउंस वगैरह सो ऐसी बहुत सारी चीजों के अंदर दे आर नॉट रेगुलेटेड दे डोंट इवन कम अंडर इनकम टैक्स ब्रैकेट लीव ऑफ एड एवरीथिंग दे डोंट इवन कम अंडर इनकम टैक्स ब्रैकेट ठीक है सो दिस इज द अनफॉर्चुनेट थिंग दैट इंडिया में बहुत सारा एम्प्लॉयमेंट ऐसा है जैसे हाउस मेट्स ठीक है जो द पीपल डोमेस्टिक मेट्स द पीपल हु कम एट योर प्लेस लाइक अर्ली आर नॉट राउ ऑफकोर्स इन द pre covid 19 era i am talking about so people who used to come to your place and uh, help you in domestic work uh, they were the ones not taking any kind of uh, salary uh, this receipt or anything from them right you don't take any kind of receipt or anything from them okay these are the people who are of course working for you but at the same time these are the people who are not in any formal sector theek hai unka job aisa hai ki kabhi bhi unko hire and fire kiya ja sakta Okay, so they come under what they come under vulnerable employment. So unfortunately, India also have a large population of the people who stay in vulnerable employment. Wala category. Okay, so this is also one of the causes for high un unemployment rates in India. The next is syllabus taught in the schools and colleges being not as per the current requirement of the industry. This is the main cause of structural unemployment. Now, what is structural unemployment? We'll again understand it. One will come again. Term structural unemployment. But right now, just understand. We have already discussed that. that जो सिखाया जाता है और जो रिक्वायर्ड है बहुत डिफरेंस द नेक्स्ट इज इनएडिक्वेट ग्रोथ ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड लो इन्वेस्टमेंट इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर एंड 
restricting employment potential of secondary uh, sector. So basically, try to understand one of those sectors just may employment elasticity is high. Now, this is a new term which I'm introducing. Uh, talk, Shatse, I think I'm not included in your PPTs, but it's something which I generally teach in the general wala class. But let me tell you, since it has come up right now, employment elasticity, matlab kya? employment elasticity, matlab if there is some percentage growth in the in one particular sector, some percentage growth in one particular sector, wo percentage, economical percentage growth in one particular sector, uska kitna, uske wajay se kitna employment generate ho ra. So if there is one percentage growth, in GDP, in the service sector, how many percentage of employment is being created? How much percent of employment is being created? Fine, that is called as employment elasticity. Jitna jada, eight percentage growth se jitna jada employment create ho ra, that it says there is high employment elasticity. elasticity. Are you getting it? So, aisa dekha gaya hai, from amongst the three, sec three different sectors, the three sectors wo log gindhe, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary matlab kya? Agriculture, and this is something which you may have read in your NCRTs. Primary matlab kya, jis mein agriculture aega, mining aega, okay, fisheries, uh, animal husbandry, all this is nothing but primary. Secondary is manufacturing, jis mein basically you tend to have industries and plants set up. Okay, the third is tertiary sector, jis mein service industry aega. Service mein sab kuch aega, us mein IT aega, BPO aega. Okay, us mein uh, your hospitality industry, the, the education industry, which we are having right now, the uh, uh, medical industry. So all this is nothing but what service sector. ये तीनों सेक्टर्स में से मतलब प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी और टर्शरी ये तीनों सेक्टर्स में अगर देखा जाए सबसे ज्यादा एम्प्लॉयमेंट इलासिटी आई होप यू नो दिस सबसे ज्यादा एम्प्लॉयमेंट इलासिटी इज देयर इन द सेकेंडरी सेक्टर ठीक है सेकेंडरी मतलब क्या बेसिकली मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्रीज सो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्रीज हैव द कैपेसिटी दे हैव द कैपेसिटी टू एब्जॉर्ब अ लॉट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन बट अनफॉर्चूनेटली इंडिया इज नोन टू बी अ सर्विस हब ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इज इंडिया इज नोन टू बी द सर्विस एंड द आईटी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग हब ऑफ द वर्ल्ड India is not unfortunately known for its manufacturing potential. Okay, manufacturing potential because China is known for. India is known for its service industry. That's that's the concern. So service industry, India ka of course growth aage leke gaya, but at the same time service industry is also the kind of industry just me. बहुत ज़्यादा employment absorb नहीं हुआ. Manufacturing sector अगर India का grow होता था, if India also would have been a manufacturing hub just like China, then India would have absorbed a lot of employment. ठीक है वो बहुत हेल्प करता था इंडिया को बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली इंडिया इफ इट हैज ग्रोन इफ इट हैज ग्रोन टू हायर जीडीपी लेवल्स इंडिया इज नॉट ग्रोन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू इट्स इंडिया इज नॉट ग्रोन बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कैपेसिटी इट इज ग्रोन बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स सर्विस कैपेसिटी सर्विस इंडस्ट्री सो दैट्स वन ऑफ द रीजंस व्हाई इंडिया हैज हाई अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट्स इन द कंट्री व्हाई इंडिया हैज हाई अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट फिगर्स इन द कंट्री व्हाई बिकॉज़ इंडिया का मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर इतना डेवलप नहीं हुआ कूल द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट No productivity in agriculture sector. Uh, just one second. No productivity in agriculture sector, combined with lack of alternative opportunities for uh, agricultural worker, which makes transition from primary to secondary and tertiary difficult. ठीक है ये भी बात सही है. In fact, uh, try to understand. ये एक बहुत famous dictum है. Oh, this... ये एक बहुत famous dictum है that. Uh, फार्मर का बेटा किसान का बेटा किसान बनना ही नहीं चाहता ठीक है किसान का बेटा किसान बनना नहीं चाहता बट वॉट वी रीड हियर वी रीड हियर दैट लो प्रोडक्टिविटी एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर कम्बाइंड विद लैक ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर वर्कर्स विच मेक्स ट्रांजिशन ट्रांजिशन डिफिकल्ट है किसान का भी बेटा को किसान नहीं बनना है बट प्रॉब्लम क्या है कि किसान का बेटा इज फोर्स टू गो इन टू एग्रीकल्चर इज फोर्स टू गो इन टू एग्रीकल्चर सो किसान का बेटा अनफॉर्चुनेटली किसान ही में ही जाता है वो फार्मिंग में ही जाता है उसका ये देखा गया बाई स्टडीज एंड ऑल स्टार्टिस्टिक्स इन दर एग्रीकल्चर सन they do not sons and daughters they do not go into they do not want to go into agriculture they rather want to go into service industry or maybe agri uh, manufacturing but unfortunately it has been seen ki transition karna from agriculture towards any other business or any other service industry is very difficult fine so ye bhi ek dekha gaya that's one of the reasons why india mein unemployment rate high hai unemployment scenario thoda grave hai and then the last is regressive social norms that deter women from taking continuing employment so that's something which i guess every Uh, one knows already that in India we have seen this. In India we have seen this that uh, women are not allowed to work freely. In fact, this is not just the concern with India alone. It's something which is seen worldwide, seen seen world across. But India has some kind of social norms and so social uh, restrictions which do not allow women to work. Okay, and uh, 
that's the reason why we see high unemployment rates especially uh, jammer with the gender issues okay it's especially combined with the gender issues we see men are more employed than women are yeah now this is something which is uh, there is a twist in the rural area okay what twist kya hoga wo baad mein maybe qna if you remind me i'll tell you exactly what the twist is okay but anyways right now let's move on let's go to the next topic have you understood this have you understood the definitions and the causes of uh, unemployment if yes just type yes in the chat box i'll then move ahead cool. if you guys want me to wait on this particular slide let me know but anyways i'll i'll go to the next slide if you want me to come back to this slide you can tell me okay so types of unemployment let's go to the next part types of unemployment see now there are several types of unemployment there are several different types of unemployment and these can also be said to be different reasons of unemployment so bahut sare reasons bhi hote aur bahut sare types bhi hote reasons of unemployment and types of unemployment let's try to look at these different types and let's try to decipher them so these are the distinct different types of unemployment theek hai aisa nahi ki itne hi hai in different books you will be able to find many more theek hai but they are nothing but the splinters of this ye hi sab types ke hi uh isme se hi chote chote different categories ki hai aur usko hi naya type bol diya aisa nahi hai ठीक है सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दीज आर द बेसिक कितने हैं आई एस सेवन ठीक है सो दीज आर द बेसिक सेवन टाइप्स और रीजन ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट दीज आर द बेसिक सेवन टाइप्स ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट यू कैन से एंड दीज सेवन टाइप्स लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड ईच ऑफ दम इन डिटेल नाउ लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग क्वेश्चन इसमें से ही आए हैं अगर अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट में अगर क्वेश्चन आया है सो वी हैव सीन क्वेश्चन इसमें से ही आया है अभी तक तो हम लोग क्या वी आर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक्स ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट दैट वॉज जस्ट समथिंग टू डेवलप द बैकग्राउंड एंड the uh, the platform now upon that platform the entire thing which you will have to build is based on this so ye question you can check out one of the previous papers they had asked a question on types of unemployment and let me tell you exactly which type of question they had asked there is asked a question on disguised unemployment disguised unemployment okay so if upsc has asked the question on disguised unemployment it doesn't stop upsc from asking questions from anything else okay so structural frictional kuch bhi upsc question puch sakta hai so pay proper attention to this pay proper focus to this and we'll try to discuss them in detail fine starting with the first type which is this guys unemployment this guys matlab kya hota hai by the way can you tell me what is the meaning of the word disguised what is the meaning of the word disguised this guys ka matlab kya hota hai yes i'm waiting for an answer क्या होता है का मतलब हिडन यस नकुल यस नकुल इट्स करेक्ट डिस्गाइज मतलब हिडन इट्स नॉट विजिबल यस वेरी ट्रू डिस्गाइज का मतलब क्या इट्स समथिंग विच इज हिडन दिख नहीं रहा कैम ऑफ लास्ट कैम इन सीज चेंजिंग दियरेंस चेंजिंग दियरेंस ठीक है वेदांगी चेंजिंग दियरेंस Conceal one's identity is yes, to that. So, yehi sab chizes. Basically, now you understood. Basically, ye unemployment hoga, but dikhega nahi. That's disguised unemployment. Unemployment hai, but dikh nahi raha. That is nothing but what disguised unemployment. Let's try to understand this. A disguised unemployment person is the one who seems to be employed, but actually is not. That's the reason why it is called as disguised. Camouflaged, hidden. Okay, he seems to be employed, but actually is not. क्या था ये इस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू द टोटल आउटपुट इज जीरो और नेग्लिजिबल इस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू द मुखोटा यस इट कैन यू कैन से कैमोफ्लाज मुखोटा छुपा हुआ है ठीक है बट देन इस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू द टोटल आउटपुट इज जीरो और नेग्लिजिबल व्हेन मोर पीपल आर एंगेज इन अ जॉब दैट एक्चुअली रिक्वायर्ड अ स्टेट ऑफ सॉरी व्हेन मोर पीपल आर एंगेज इन अ जॉब देन एक्चुअली रिक्वायर्ड अ स्टेट ऑफ डिस्काइज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज क्रिएट यू कैन लेट्स देन रीड द लास्ट पॉइंट marginal productivity of the labor is almost zero and is mostly seen in agriculture and non-organized sector it is mostly seen in the field of agriculture and non-organized sector now let me tell you exactly this guys unemployment kya hota now uh have you guys ever seen this that maybe in the government offices in, in india's case it's also in the government offices we tend to see this and uh, also in the rural area in agriculture sector especially we tend to see this that एक फार्म में एक फार्म में वो फार्म में पूरा खेती करने के लिए चाहिए क्या चाहिए मिलजुल के पांच लोग या छह लोग चाहिए ठीक है यू रिक्वायर सिक्स पीपल टू फार्म इन दैट फील्ड बट यू सी नॉट सिक्स पीपल 
there are 15 people who are farming in that particular field kyun kyunki uski family badi hai theek hai so there is a big family there are many people who are farming in that particular field in that scenario do you understand this that number of people required for farming in that area is 6 but how many people are employed 15 people are employed extra people kitna hai 9 log zyada hai 9 log zyada hai that's what disguise unemployment is disguise unemployment matlab kya ke ye dikhte hai ki they are employed aisa lagta hai ki ha they all of them are employed in the agriculture and all of them are working on a particular field but that field doesn't require more than 6 people that field requires only 6 people not more than that theek hai to jo extra 9 log hai they seem to be employed but actually they are not giving any kind of productive output to the economy and they are said to be what they are said to be people who are disguised unemployment aise how many of you guys in the government offices how many of you guys have seen in the government offices ke waha pe kuch aise no i'm not saying every each office but then there are many such government offices jahan pe the number of people required number of people required are very less but number of people employed are many so bahut log aise hi khali baithe rehte have you seen this kind of situation in the government offices if yes just type yes in the chat box if yes just type yes in the chat box cool cool i'm getting many yes now so yes ऐसा बहुत टाइम होता है गवर्नमेंट ऑफिस में भी बहुत टाइम होता है कुछ गवर्नमेंट ऑफिस नॉट ईच ऑफ देम बट देर आर फ्यू गवर्नमेंट ऑफिस जिसमें नम, चाहिए सिर्फ चार लोगों का काम रहता है बट रहते हैं बीस लोग ठीक है जो जो एक्स्ट्रा सोलह लोग है दे आर सेट टू बी दे आर सेट टू बी दीपल डिस्काइज फेसिंग द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ डिस्काइज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्चुअली क्या है दे आर एम्प्लॉयड दे सीन टू बी एम्प्लॉयड बट आर दे एम्प्लॉयड नो दे आर नॉट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग एनी प्रोडक्टिव टू द इकोनॉमी ठीक है दे आर मार्जिनल प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ लेबर इसको कहते हैं मतलब मार्जिनल प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ लेबर is almost zero is almost zero okay their contribution to the total output is zero or negligible because the work is being done by the four people alone okay so it is mostly seen in agriculture and also in the unorganized sector and also in the government offices government sectors also we tend to see this so this is the first kind of unemployment remember this kya naam is ka disguise unemployment remember this okay i'll ask you a question later in one of the later uh, uh, examples i'll ask you a question okay so moving on the next type is next is structural next is structural unemployment let's try to understand this kya hota structural unemployment it occurs due to structural changes in the economy you actually see there is something called as uh, uh, cost accounting hota hai aur wo cost accounting mein aapko malum padta hai ki marginal productivity of labor kitna hai theek hai so cost accounting basically usme डायरेक्ट लेबर एक पार्ट आएगा उसमें और डायरेक्ट लेबर में यू सी के एक लेबर एड होने से मेरा आउटपुट कितना ज्यादा बढ़ा ठीक है सो यू ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट दैट एंड व्हेन यू रियलाइज दिस थिंग दैट मेरा आउटपुट नहीं बढ़ रहा है अगर लेबर और ज्यादा ऐड कर रहा हूं तो मेरा आउटपुट नहीं बढ़ रहा है देन यू रियलाइज दिस थिंग दैट देयर आर मेनी पीपल हु आर एक्स्ट्रा फाइन सो दिस इज द आंसर टू योर क्वेश्चन अर्शद हैव यू अंडरस्टूड दिस कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग में आता है डायरेक्ट लेबर इज अ पार्ट ऑफ इट एंड मार्जिनल प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ लेबर इज आल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ इट हैव यू अंडरस्टूड दिस अर्शद I, if I just give, I, I, let me just give you a very small example. Uh, let's consider an industrial setup. Let's consider an industrial setup, or let's consider maybe. Uh, or what should I consider? Industrial setup, and they are making some kind of toy. Okay, for children, they are making some kind of toy. And this entire thing is done manually by the laborers. This entire thing is done manually by the laborers. So. कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग बेसिकली कंसेप्ट क्या रहेगा ऐसा रहेगा कंसेप्ट दैट पहले आई विल कीपिंग वन लेबर एंड आई विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट हाउ मेनी हाउ मच टॉयज इज दैट वन सिंगल लेबर इज एबल टू मेक इन वन पर्टिकुलर डे ठीक है बाद में आई ऐड अनदर लेबर आई रियलाइज कि वो एक लेबर ऐड करने से मेरे अमाउंट ऑफ टॉयज प्रोड्यूस इन वन डे कितने बढ़ गए ठीक है बाद में आई ऐड थर्ड लेबर आई देन कैलकुलेट कि एक और लेबर ऐड करने से मेरे एक दिन में और कितने हाउ मच माय प्रोडक्शन इज इंक्रीज ठीक है आई ट्राई टू सी एंड ट्राई आई ट्राई टू एनालाइज विद एवरी एडिशन ऑफ न्यू लेबर आई ट्राई टू एनालाइज कि मेरा आउटपुट प्रोडक्शन कितना ज्यादा बढ़ रहा है ठीक है एंड आई ट्राई टू प्लॉट इन द ग्राफ वंस आई प्लॉट इन द ग्राफ आई रियलाइज दिस दैट आफ्टर सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बाय एडिंग मोर एक्स्ट्रा लेबरर्स द आउटपुट इज नॉट इंक्रीजिंग ठीक है देयर बी वन टॉप ठीक है वो वो एक समिट आ जाएगा ठीक है तो आफ्टर वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम द आउटपुट विल नॉट बी इंक्रीजिंग बाय एडिंग मोर लेबरर्स and in that situation you realize this is the amount of job this is the amount of people required for doing that job and anything beyond that will be the amount will be the people who are just the cost for the company they are not 
help, helping in for the production of the they are not, not helping in increasing for the production and at that point of time you realize acha there is this guy is unemployed cool so this is the way you realize you tend to realize ki acha ha as a disguise unemployment hota hai cool let's go to the next part next part is structural uh, unemployment let's try to understand this it occurs due to structural changes in the economy स्ट्रक्चर मतलब क्या टेक्टोनिक बड़े बड़े चेंजेस बड़े बड़े चेंजेस इन द इकोनॉमी देर मेजर चेंज मेजर शिफ्ट इन द इकोनॉमी बिकॉज ऑफ दैट स्ट्रक्चर चेंजेस इन द इकोनॉमी ठीक है लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस स्ट्रक्चर चेंजेस कैन बी ड्यू टू चेंज इन टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम लेबर इंटेंसिव टेक्नोलॉजी टू कैपिटल इंटेंसिव टेक्नोलॉजी और चेंज इन द पैटर्न ऑफ डिमांड और चेंज इन द पैटर्न ऑफ डिमांड ओके लेट मी गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल लेट मी गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल ओके Are you aware that Mumbai was earlier dominated by Mumbai was earlier dominated by the Tangas, Tanga wala. This is what you must be aware. Before the advent of uh, uh, diesel car and vehicles, diesel and petrol cars and vehicles, okay. Basically, combustion engines. Okay, आने के पहले Mumbai was dominated by Tanga wala. Okay, you look at the old movies, 1940s, 1950s wala movies. You realize that the major mode of communication in across Mumbai and everywhere was what was nothing but Tangas. Okay, Goda was a major way of uh, uh, travel from one commutation from one place to another. But after the advent of technology, technology came. Technology, new technology was nothing but. After the advent of technology, you realize that uh, uh, after sorry, after the advent of technology, you realize that a combustion engine came, and uh, now everyone has taxis. Possibly, few people also have cars. and then you realize this thing that the earlier tanga walas the earlier tanga walas are no longer employed theek okay? hai they are no longer employed in fact aisa pehle hua bhi tha aisa resistance pehle aaya bhi tha okay from the earlier tanga walas aur unko baad mein aisa settlement kiya gaya that few important crucial places you will be the ones who will be handling uh, uh, the commutation so aur baad mein thoda abhi uske baad to aisa situation aaya that they are only kept for ceremonial purposes theek okay? hai so near uh, thane if you see that the near thane lakes you tend to find tangas And uh, South Mumbai near Marine Drive and all you tend to find tangas and all. Now you don't long, no longer find tangas, tanga walas. Okay, so that this this is the situation. This is the situation brought about by technological change. And uske wajah se jo tanga wala ka unemployment hua, that is called a structural unemployment. Okay, that is called a structural unemployment. As a right now also people tend to what? Abhi for example, uh, uh, cool cabs hota hai, ya fir uh, jo bhi aise Uber hota hai, Ola hota hai, ya fir aise uh, there was one app for sharing of Cabs are forward, okay. But because of this, the 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 employment of the rickshaws and the employment of the taxis are is threatened, okay. So the arrival of new technology threatens the old technology, okay. And that brings about unemployment in the previous technology that is called structural unemployment. Are you getting it? That is called structural unemployment. I'll give you one more example. I'll give you one more example. So this, I hope you understood the technology one example you understood. Let me give you an example of demand, okay. And demand ka example kuch is tarah that. Uh, Do, do you know this that Maharashtra very recently, maybe I don't recall, but I guess it's last year. Key baat that Maharashtra ne uh, plastic ban kar diya. Maharashtra plastic Maharashtra ne bola plastic consumer use ke liye ek particular micron bola tha. Ye isse thickness se jada hona chahiye, usse thickness se kam nahi hona chahiye. ठीक है, and if you do that, ठीक है, you will be fine. So Maharashtra was one of the states which me, उन्होंने plastic को ban kiya. Now it's not just the case of Maharashtra. Many states across the country, many countries across the world. they have found out the reason they have found out the reason that it is a plastic which is causing a lot of uh, clogging in the drainage pipes it is a plastic which is causing a lot of marine pollution okay so as a plastics plus plastic do not degrade very quickly plastics do not degrade very quickly. they 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 have a, a really long life span okay so plastic is not good for the environment many people realize this and maharashtra also realize and accordingly what in maharashtra do Maharashtra finally said this thing that plastic will be something which will be banned. Okay, we ban plastics. This is what Maharashtra said. And when Maharashtra said this, there was a sudden change in demand. The change in demand earlier demand is because of plastic demand. But now the demand is more about more eco-friendly uh, uh, carrying bags. Okay, eco eco eco-friendly bags you require. Okay, no, the earlier plastic bags which you used to have, those were banned. Okay, okay, demand shifted from plastic to something eco-friendly, maybe jute-based or maybe cloth-based. Bags there, there is a change in demand. Okay, this is also a major shift in the economy. This is also a tectonic shift in the economy. Okay, and when you see this kind of tectonic shift or a major shift in the economy, you realize this thing. Yes, जो पहले plastic industry में involved थे वो सब plastic industry वाले. Now they have turned unemployed. Now they have turned unemployed. 
So this can also be one of the reasons of structural unemployment. Remember this. Okay, I'll give you one more example, the last example from my side, that uh, you must have seen this. You must have seen this, that uh, earlier there was a lot of resistance to uh, the uh, arrival of computers in India. Okay, especially in the government sector. Government sector, mein aise aapko se le rega, but your parents must have seen this. The 1990s to 2000s was the era in which the government was also getting raised in banks. Nakul, very true. Banks also had seen this. Okay, bank mein pehle kya hota tha? Se hisab hota tha. Okay, basically, there used to be books of account and everything. But now what? They have tally, they have computers. So, when this shift was there was a technological shift. Okay, many people found themselves to be not adapted to the new technology and they found themselves to be unemployed. Okay, so ye, this is again an example of what structural unemployment. Okay, so these are these are just the examples. Just try to understand. Okay, in a developing country like India, structural unemployment exists both in the rural and the urban areas. Yes, it, it does exist in both. In, and in fact, there is a concept concept of what disruptive technology. Disruptive technology means that what new technology is, it disrupts everything which was existing until now. Everything means not not actually everything, but it was it disrupts the conventions, economical conventions which were existing until now. So it changes the entire perspective altogether. Okay, that is called a disruptive technology. Or it is a structural unemployment. So this is something which is structural unemployment. Let me go to the next type of unemployment. The next type of unemployment is fictional unemployment. The next is fictional unemployment. Let's try to understand this. Fictional unemployment It occurs when a worker is shifting from one job to another job. Okay, when a person is shifting from one job to another job. So the duration that is called fictional unemployment. Okay, during the mobility period, he may be unemployed for some point of time. Okay, so one job se wo quit kiya, wo dusre job ke liye apply kar raha. Uske beech mein jo time rehta, he said to be unemployed for that much amount of time. It is called fictional unemployment. Okay, Vedangi, you want me to go to the previous slide? Fine, just a second, Vedangi. I just finish this slide first, and then I go to the previous slide. I hope it's okay. Okay, with you. you're fine. So then it is, it is, of course, it is a temporary phenomenon because a person who will be shifting from one job to another job, he did not intend to be unemployment all throughout. Okay, so it is usually said to be a very temporary phenomenon. The next is, in other words, frictional unemployment is the time period between jobs when a worker is searching for or transitioning from one job to another job. Okay, so transitioning from one job. So you may have seen this many times that even for civil service examination, people tend to quit the jobs. Okay, so when they quit their job in aspiration of a better job, Okay, in aspiration for getting into a better job. So, beach time period, rather, that is a temporary time period in which they are unoccupied, and that is a time of pressure on unemployment. Okay. It sometimes it is also called as sometimes uh, it is sometimes called search engine. I guess it's search engine, search engine to Ganat word. It may be a, a mistake from my side. Forgive me. I just check this out exactly. And can be voluntary based on circumstances of the unemployed individual. Fine, so it's don't write this point. There is something search engine. Of course, it is not search engine. Okay, let me check it out. I'll tell you by next time what exactly is the concern here. Okay, so let me go to the previous slide. Fine, so this is just about structural. Bedangi, you let me know when you're done with this. And Acha, anything in news you want me to discuss? Anything in any other subject you want to discuss until the time she copies. What is the news? launched by the Ministry of Railways. So that's a new scheme which the government has launched. Basically, not even a scheme. It's nothing but an initiative. Government has launched that new initiative. Yes, it will help a lot. It will go help a lot. Why? Because the uh, problem is the problem that something in one particular part of the country is something... If, like for example, some perishable commodity in one part of the company, country, if it is some very perishable, it was difficult to transport that particular thing into maybe if there is something produced in Northeast, usko in Kashmir ya fir Kanya Kumari ya fir Gujarat wo gira, transfer karna bahut difficult hota So for that purpose, this railway will help a lot. Landslide did happen in Kerala, not just Kerala, I guess even Karnataka also lot of problem. Ashid, you are a very big topic. We will not discuss it. Beirut Blast, we can manage as said. Ashid, Ashid, they come. The last Q&A, you remind me about this topic. We will discuss that. We will discuss it. We will discuss it. 
Beirut blast also minus. You can tell me at that point of time about import ban on defense items. Uh, exactly, Ravi, you will have to elaborate this part. Anyways, ये दो टॉपिक आज के लिए रखते हैं करंट अफेयर्स के लिए एक बेरुद ब्लास्ट डिस्कस करेंगे और एक चाइनीज ट्रूप्स का डिस्कस करेंगे ठीक है दिस टू थिंग्स विल डिस्कस इन द क्यू एन लेट्स मूव ऑन राइट नाउ रवि यू विल हैव टू इलैबोरेट दिस पढ़ा है एग्जैक्टली आई मे हैव नॉट रीड अबाउट दैट ओके आई होप यू गाइस हैव कॉपीड दिस आई विल गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड इफ यू वांट मी टू स्टे टू दिस स्लाइड वेल एंड गुड ऑल इज आई मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड शुड आई शुड आई गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड यस जस्ट टाइप यस Why not? But we should finish copying it. Sure, sure. So yes, Manu said, asked about Beirut blast. So we were we discuss it. The Beirut blast basically, what was it? It was nothing but I guess many of you guys must have read about it. Yes, you can copy it until that time. We discuss something from the current episode. Let's not waste some time. And what was the Beirut blast? Beirut, you know, country Lebanon. Okay. And in fact, uh, chemical explosion. What was the chemical? The ammonium nitrate. ठीक है सेट टू बी वेरी एक्सप्लोसिव मटीरियल एंड समथिंग विच इज वेरी मच यूजफुल इन द बट वेरी कॉमनली अवेलेबल ऑल्सो वाई बिकॉज इट्स यूज इन द अदर इंडस्ट्रीज अदर इंडस्ट्रीज लाइक वॉट फर्टिलाइजर इंडस्ट्रीज ठीक है सो वो बेरुद ब्लास्ट भी ऐसा ही था अमोनियम नाइट्रेट यस वेरी ट्रू फर्टिलाइजर इंडस्ट्री में बहुत ज्यादा यूज होता है सो बेरुद ब्लास्ट में भी ऐसा ही हुआ था दैट बहुत बिग कंसाइनमेंट ऑफ अमोनियम नाइट्रेट वॉज लेफ्ट देयर इन द गोडाउन ऑफ द पोर्ट इन द बेरुद सिटी ठीक है और वहां पे ऐसा हुआ दैट द ब्लास्ट वाज सो बिग इट वाज सो ह्यूज इट इज इट इज कंपेयर टू बी पैरेलल टू दैट ऑफ द आई मीन बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट ब्लास्ट एक ऐसा मशरूम क्लाउड जो फॉर्म हुआ था वो ऐसा ही क्लाउड तभी दिखा था जब लास्ट हिरोशिमा और नागासाकी हुआ ठीक है सो दे मेनी पीपल आर कंपेयरिंग इट टू दैट ठीक है एंड ऑफ कोर्स इट वाज नॉट अ न्यूक्लियर ब्लास्ट बट एट द सेम टाइम ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द डायनामिक्स ऑफ लेबनान एंड बेरुत लेबनान एंड इज बेसिकली अ कंट्री व्हिच इज Said to be more European, Europeanized country of Middle East. Okay, it is said to be Switzerland of Middle East. Lebanon also is said to be. Okay, and at the same time, समझो ये बात. India has seventy fifty tons of it. I didn't know that. It must be. But then I hope it is very regulated in case of India. But anyways, yes, we were understanding about Lebanon. Try to understand Lebanon is a what Lebanon has something called as Hezbollah, and Hezbollah is a Shia organization, and this Hezbollah. Fine. I'll, I'll switch to the next slide. Just a second. Let me finish this thought. This Hezbollah is said to be in constant uh, friction with Israel. 75th anniversary of Nagasaki. Yes, it came close to that. Two seven five zero tons ammonium nitrate. I didn't know the exact figure, but it, it, that's the amount of the this thing. Of course, it had to be very very huge explosion. But then try to understand. Yeah, Hezbollah. Jo hai, Hezbollah is said to be uh, in constant fight with Israel. ठीक है इट्स अ शिया ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट सिंस इट इज शिया ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट आल्सो गेट्स सपोर्ट फ्रॉम ईरान सो इट्स सेड टू बी क्लोज टू ईरान आल्सो एंड इन कांस्टेंट फाइट विद इजराइल आल्सो फाइन सो हिजबुल्ला ने ऐसा कहते हैं बहुत लोग दैट इट वाज बिकॉज़ ऑफ हिजबुल्ला हु हैड अ लॉट ऑफ डोमिनेंस ओवर लेबनान हु हैव अ लॉट ऑफ डोमिनेंस ओवर लेबनान नाउ इट इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ हिजबुल्ला दैट दे डिडंट शिफ्ट दैट थिंग दे डिडंट शिफ्ट इंडिया एंड चेन्नई एंड मॉन्टेन नाइट इट मस्ट बी इट मस्ट बी इन चेन्नई बट एट लीस्ट आफ्टर दिस they may have at least uh, become more cautious and they may have taken more care we hope so we hope so we don't know the amin ka kuch bharosa nahi but then we are hoping so yes so hezbollah is always in constant fight with israel and for making any kind of bombs also you require ammonium nitrate so it is said to be said that it was because of the dominance of hezbollah that the ammonium nitrate was not shifted because maha ka jo port trust tha aur uska jo authority tha usne bahut time warn kiya tha theek hai higher authorities ko unhone warn kiya tha that this uh very large mass of ammonium nitrate is something which is very dangerous not just for the port but for the entire city you should try to ship it somewhere else but there is this appeals fed on uh, fed, fed on uh, uh uh on on the people who were completely ignored this thing they were under the dominance of hezbollah and at that point of time ultimately we see this k this entire blast and everything happened and many people are now speculating it may have been because of some welding work which may जो बाजू में कहीं पे तो हो रहा था इन द पोर्ट एरिया ठीक है सो मेनी पीपल आर सीइंग दिस वी डोंट नो द एग्जैक्ट रीजंस वी डोंट नो द एग्जैक्ट रीजन बिहाइंड दिस ठीक है बट देन इट्स ट्रस्ट मी इट मे नॉट बी जस्ट नेगलिजेंस मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है ठीक है बिकॉज़ इतना ज्यादा अमाउंट ऑफ अमोनियम नाइट्रेट्स ऐसे ही पड़ा है और इतना बड़ा प्रॉब्लम हो गया जस्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ नेगलिजेंस आई फील नो दे मे हैव थॉट ऑफ यूजिंग दिस अमोनियम नाइट्रेट समवेयर एल्स आल्सो दैट्स द रीजन व्हाई दे मे हैव केप्ट हियर बट अनफॉर्चूनेटली उसके पहले ब्लास्ट हो गया 
ठीक है सो इट्स बेसिकली वन ऑफ द शिया अलायंस हिजबुल्ला इज वन ऑफ द पार्टनर्स इन वन ऑफ द शिया अलायंस ठीक है एंड दे आल्सो एट टाइम्स वर्क अगेंस्ट द सुन्नी सुन्नीस का लीडर कौन सऊदी सो उनके अगेंस्ट भी ये काम करते हैं एनीथिंग एंड एवरीथिंग व्हिच इज हैपनिंग इन मिडिल ईस्ट यू मस्ट सी इट विद थ्री प्रिज्म्स देयर आर थ्री ठीक है वो तीन चीजें आपको सोचना चाहिए एक तो शिया सुन्नी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट दूसरा ईरान सऊदी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एंड द थर्ड इज इसराइल एंटी इसराइल सेंटिमेंट्स सो दीज आर द थ्री things which dominate the middle east crisis russian owned ship yes very true it was i guess it was going from cyprus to madagascar uh, the it was going from cyprus to madagascar but then uh, the mozambique okay fine yes it was mozambique and uh, uh, it, it didn't have enough funds to cross the swiss canal so that's the reason why they ported there in beirut but badme beirut se unko bahut zyada the ship was very old usko clearance mila nahi wo heavy uh, heavy machinery wagera utha nahi paaye that's the reason why Entire ammonium nitrate was was kept here. Okay, but of course it is a matter of negligence. Plus, there is also some foul play in this. Okay, so there is both the things. I truly feel there is both these things. Nothing in Middle East happens as if there must be something behind this. Anyways, we have understood this fictional unemployment. Let's move on. We'll discuss about the Chinese wala part in the later part. Maybe if some time we get an opportunity between the lecture or last Q and A, we can be able to discuss it. Okay. So this yes, cyclical unemployment. Cyclical unemployment means what? basically it occurs because of cyclical fluctuations in the economy so there are few economists who believe that just second who believe that every economy goes through cycles there are different cycles through which every economy goes through okay so there will be a cycle this may there will be agar this is the normal growth rate so there will be a cycle this may there will be bahut zyada growth rahega theek hai then there will be a time jab hi recession aayega aur finally depression aayega theek hai baad mein wapas growth aayega baad mein wapas recession depression aayega so यहाँ पे जब भी ग्रोथ आ रहा है तभी यू फाइंड हाई एम्प्लॉयमेंट बट वेन देर इज रिसेशन एंड डिप्रेशन एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यहाँ पे ये टाइम पे यू फाइंड वॉर यू फाइंड साइक्लिकल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट यू फाइंड साइक्लिकल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट ठीक है सो वापस ग्रोथ आएगा दिस अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट विल गो एंड दिस विल कम अगेन वॉट अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट विल गो ग्रोथ विल कम अगेन बाद में ये अगेन दिस इज द टाइम वेन दिस दिस टू इज द टाइम वेन यू टेंड टू फाइंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट राइजिंग एंड दैट इज द टाइम वेन यू फाइंड साइक्लिकल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट Cool. So just remember this. As is, every economy goes through this kind of fluctuation, goes through this kind of. And see, now this is not necessary. That always, as a sub economy, as it will go. There are few economists who believe that yes, as it will. Some economists believe not. Do. But then there are few who believe, and they have said this thing that when recession comes, then unemployment is going to be higher. Okay. In fact, before the COVID came in India, before the COVID came in India, India was facing a problem of stagflation. I guess we have discussed stagflation earlier. When we have, uh, I don't recall exactly inflation at that time. We have. क्या उन्होंने स्टैक्लेशन तो भी किया है इन्फ्लेशन के टाइम पे सेइंग क्या उन्होंने स्टैक्लेशन स्टैक ओके फाइन तो हम लोग ने यहाँ पे किया बिकॉज आई नो आई हैव डन दिस इन जनरल लेक्चर आई डोंट रिकॉल कि हम लोगों ने यहाँ पे किया बट एनी वेज बिफोर द कोविड केम इन स्टैगनेट ग्रोथ प्लस इन्फ्लेशन वेरी सो बिफोर द कोविड केम इन इंडिया वी वर बिलीविंग दैट इंडिया वॉज फेसिंग द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ स्टैक्लेशन एंड मेनी इकोनॉमिक वो सही की स्टैक्लेशन नहीं है एक्चुअली साइक्लिकल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट सॉरी साइक्लिकल depression hai ya fir recession hai many were saying this but we know this thing ke uh, this cyclical phase of economy the government ke jo claims the they were pro government economists who were saying this thing ke ha ye to cyclical hai ye to har government mein aisa hota hai but actually later we realize it's not cyclical it's something which is very much ingrained because of the uh, because of the health of the economy it is ingrained in it so it's not cyclical i mean jo pehle covid ke pehle jo india mein just prior to covid in the month of jan feb they were saying stagnation okay but then baad mein they said this thing ki nahi nahi it's not stagnation it's cyclical later we realized ki covid hi aa gaya so uske bada economical crisis aa gaya fine so anyways let's continue reading this so every economy goes through this kind of cycle of fluctuations aur jab hi recession aayega ya depression aayega tabhi bhi wo time pe unemployment hota hai that type of unemployment is called cyclical unemployment and so there are phases of boom there is phases of recession ठीक है देर इज फेजेस ऑफ बूम देन देर इज रिसेशन देन देर इज डिप्रेशन एंड रिकवरी दीज आर जस्ट टिपिकल थिंग्स टिपिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ कैपिटलिस्ट इकोनॉमी देन इन बूम फेज हाई लेवल्स ऑफ जस्ट लेट मी इरेज दिस इन द बूम फेज हाई लेवल्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी रिजल्ट्स इन हाई लेवल ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट वेयर इज रिसेशन एंड डिप्रेशन फेजेस मार्क विद लो लो डिमांड रिजल्ट्स इन मोर अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड ड्यूरिंग द रिकवरी फेज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट स्लोली रिलीज सो 
just something which we read right now. Okay, yeah, recession, depression, get after unemployment. This is cyclical. Cyclical unemployment figures in India are negligible. India case me unemployment is ke mujhe se itna zyada nahi hai. There are many other reasons because of it. India me unemployment hai, but cyclical unemployment ke mujhe se India me figures negligible because they are not many. Okay. So let's. This is cyclical unemployment. I'll go to the next slide. The next is underemployment. The next is underemployment. Now, just reading the word, can anyone tell me what? Okay, fine. Just, just let me know when you are done copying this. Okay. Beirut. If you are see now, UPSC example, exam me question see Beirut se nahi puchta. Let me since the time Marshal is. वो कंट्री के साथ वैसा किया आपको उसका इम्पैक्ट इंडिया के ऊपर क्या आता हुआ दिख रहा है so they always try to include india in this they always try to include india in this so agar direct question agar we ask your question exam mein nahi aaya theek hai so don't be surprised because it's anyway something which is to do with third third countries theek hai so it's country x and country y doing something and finally india ke agar koi impact aata hai to wo important nahi to important nahi beirut se exam may be mains mein na aaye mains mein ayat mein shayad se question nahi aayega but दे कैन आस्क यू द क्वेश्चन इन द प्रिलियम्स वाला पार्ट प्रिलियम्स में कहां पर आएगा प्रिलियम्स में दे कैन आस्क यू क्वेश्चन ऑन द जोग्राफी ऑफ दैट एरिया ठीक है सो यू लुक एट द प्रिलियम्स पेपर्स लुक एट द प्रीवियस पेपर्स एंड यू रियलाइज दिस दैट प्रीवियस पेपर्स स्पेशली इन द जोग्राफी वाला पार्ट मैपिंग वाला पार्ट दे वॉज द क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस मिडल ईस्ट एरिया बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन पूछे उन्होंने ठीक है तो कोई भी चीज अगर मिडल ईस्ट में हो रहा है उसका मैप में लोकेशन देखो कहां पर आया वो मैप में ठीक है इस बेरूद कोशल जस्ट एल दिस थिंग रैंडमली बेरूत के आजू बाजू में आई मीन लेबनान के आजू बाजू में कौन से कौन से कंट्रीज है कौन से कौन से कंट्रीज सराउंड लेबनान ठीक है एंड आई गिव यू ऑप्शन यू टेल मी कौन सा ऑप्शन करेक्ट है कौन सा ऑप्शन करेक्ट नहीं है ठीक है आई जस्ट टेल यू ऑप्शन यू टेल मी वेट बिफोर आंसरिंग दिस आई टेल यू डोंट डोंट आंसर लेट मी लेट मी गिव यू दिन फर्स्ट ठीक है आई गिव यू फोर कौन सा कंट्री लेबनान का बॉर्डर नहीं है ठीक है लेबनान के बाजू में बॉर्डर बॉर्डर शेयर नहीं करते कौन सा कंट्री ठीक है फर्स्ट it is uh, israel then there is uh, uh, syria third there is uh, israel syria let me give you saudi and uh, let me give you the fourth is iran ye char mein se tell me the answer do not bother do not bother fine iran is the one iran is the one iran is the one. and if i'm not wrong saudi is also not the one saudi is also not the one saudi doesn't border Uh, Lebanon. Just check it out. I guess Saudi doesn't border Lebanon, so it's both. It's Iran and Saudi. Both of them do not border. So it was just a trick question. There were two options. Of course, Iran to the Saudi to Saudi. Both of them do not border. If I'm not wrong, both of them do not border uh, Lebanon. Fine. Both of them uh, do not border Lebanon. So this was something. Is ke aisa kuch question aayega aapko exam. ठीक है. Be alert. कुछ भी कहीं पे भी मिडिल ईस्ट में कहीं पे भी हो रहा है या कुछ भी क्राइसिस कहीं पे भी चल रहा है सो बी अलर्ट उसके ऊपर मैपिंग में क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे फुल सो फाइन यस हर्षद आर यू डन कॉपिंग दिस सो विल 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 मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट लाइक यस दिस टाइप यस इन द चैट बॉक्स फाइन या लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट यस नाउ लुकिंग एट द वर्ड इटसेल्फ टेल मी कौन सा टाइप ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट है ये अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट कौन सा टाइप ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट है ये जस्ट What, what do you understand by the word under employment? Just make a guess. Just make a quick guess. क्या है ये? What type of unemployment this means? क्या लगता है under employment में क्या है? Come on, I go, I want you guys to make a random guess. May not be a correct answer or something. Not utilizing full potential. Nothing says this. Anything else? Anyone else? Under employment. क्या लगता है? What do you think? Under employment, what happened? Yes, full employment, but not unemployment. Okay, okay, that's right. Job below the capacity of the person working and removing job, no skills. 
Yes, yes, correct. All of you guys are correct. All of you guys are correct. Okay, that's nothing but underemployment. In fact, looking at the world itself, we can decide what will happen this type of unemployment. So underemployment is nothing but a scenario in which it is a situation under which employed people are contributing to the production less than they are capable of. All of you guys are correct. Okay, low skill work is doing. His capability is more, but he is still doing low skill work. Okay, you must have read this in the newspapers that uh, PhDs are applying for constable ka job. As you have seen it. इंडिया में ऐसा होता है But anyways, uh, underemployment is a situation in which the person is able to contribute more to the economy, but unfortunately, he is not getting a proper job. He is ultimately lands up to a job which is a low skill job. So a low skill job. That's a similar situation of underemployment. It can be in the terms of time that visible underemployment, or it can be in terms of type of work invisible underemployment. So it can be both of these things. Okay. Part time workers come under this category. Part time workers come under this category. Of time, you can see time. Okay, which is visible underemployment. Yeah, how will actually they can work full time, but unfortunately because of some particular reason, they are working part time and they are coming under what? So they can contribute the entire day, but they are just contributing half of the day. Okay, that's example of what part time uh, or visible unemployment underemployment. They can also be an example of what invisible underemployment in which type of work. So, if you do work that is that is not something which justifies your capacity. Your capacity is much more. You are a PhD. If you are doing the job of a watchman, not that I am degrading the idea of watchman. In fact, chokidar to be last election from Malum Pura chokidar was important to the country. Okay, so chokidar is really very important. But uh, I am just saying that your skills are unjustified in that particular area. Okay, so that's nothing but underemployment. Remember this. Let's move on. Let's go to the next type of unemployment. The next type of unemployment is. Seasonal unemployment is called what? Seasonal unemployment. Let's try to understand the seasonal unemployment. ठीक है क्या रहेगा seasonal unemployment? कहाँ पे कुछ देखा आपने? कुछ सुना है seasonal unemployment के बारे में? Unemployment के बारे में? Can you tell me? Bank of business. Okay. Or or क्या? Big culture. ठीक है. ठीक है. Cool. Yes, very true. I guess both of you guys are correct. Both of you guys are correct. India में क्या है? India has monsoonal agriculture. India doesn't have बेसिकली इंडिया इज रेन फेड एग्रीकल्चर रेन फेड एग्रीकल्चर इंडिया में होता है रेन फेड एग्रीकल्चर मतलब क्या कि इंडिया में वी स्टिल डिपेंड अपॉन ऑरेंज बिजनेस यू सी यस वेरी ट्रू सो इन ईच ऑफ दिस थिंग्स वी सी दिस थिंग दैट दे आर अनएम्प्लॉयड फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम पीरियड यस टू दैट टू दैट दैट इज नथिंग बट सीजनल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इंडिया इज द बेस्ट एग्जांपल ऑफ सीजनल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इंडिया सीज रेनफॉल इन दोस 4 मंथ्स ऑफ मानसून जो भी चल रहा है इंडिया सीज रेनफॉल इन दोस 4 मंथ्स ऑफ मानसून और वो 4 महीने में वी सी दिस थिंग दैट वही टाइम पे एग्रीकल्चर बहुत पॉपुलर होता है ठीक है और इसके बाद बाद में हार्वेस्टिंग वगैरह होगा वो टाइम पे भी मेनी पीपल फ्लॉक हो गए यू मस्ट हैव सीन दिस इन द अर्बन एरिया आल्सो लाइक राइट नाउ थोड़ा ऐसा दिखता है दैट आई मीन अगर कोविड नहीं होता था सो राइट नाउ आल्सो वी वुड हैव सीन दिस थिंग दैट द माइग्रेंट लेबरर्स हु वुड हैव बीन वर्किंग हियर इन द अर्बन एरिया लाइक मे बी लाइक द बाबर्स और द ड्राइवर्स वो सब या फिर जो भी चौकीदार वगैरह होता है वो सब भी बहुत सारे लोग During this months of monsoon and pre and post, just few months pre and post monsoon, they flee away to their native places, maybe to the villages and all. Why do they go there? They go there because the agriculture pays off well there. Okay, agriculture pays well there. So in these months, they go back to their uh, native places. Okay, this is the time. This is the type of unemployment. And what type of unemployment? What are we calling this? We call it a seasonal unemployment. Let's look at what it is. It occurs only during. Seasonal months of the year in India, it is very common in agricultural sector. Why? Because we have monsoonal agriculture. Okay. In certain types of industries, also this type of unemployment is found. Disguised unemployment. I give you the example of these industries. For example, uh, the the woolen industries there in North India. Okay, जहाँ पे woolen का demand वगैरह बढ़ जाएगा, कभी बढ़ेगा वो winters में पड़ेगा. Okay, तो वो time पे हम लोग देखते हैं कि वहाँ पे वो लोग वो time पे वो लोग employed हैं. But the rest of the time of the year, are they employed? They are not employed to their distribution. ठीक है, सो दैट इज ऑल इन कॉलेज वॉट सीजनल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट 
ठीक है डिस्गाइज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड सीजनल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट आर द टू मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप्स ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट फाउंड इन द रूरल इंडिया पर्टिकुलर इन द फार्म सेक्टर सो वी नो दिस यहां एग्रीकल्चर फील्ड्स में भी छह लोग चाहिए लगाए पंद्रह लोग हैं सो डिस्गाइज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट भी है प्लस एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर में भी ऐसा देखा है हम लोगों ने दैट डिस्गाइज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट भी है मतलब सॉरी सीजनल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट भी है मतलब employment to the full fledged is provided only in the monsoon months pre and post couple of months but then the entire year proper employment nahi deta wo agriculture fine so that's something but the example of what seasonal unemployment that's the example of seasonal unemployment theek okay. hai no i guess ashit under employment also satisfies it uh try to understand unemployment matlab kya unemployment matlab those who are Who are willing to work? Who are willing to work, but they are not getting the work. Now, for example, I am a part-time worker or someone. Okay, he is a part-time worker, and he wants to work full-time. He wants to work full-time, but he is not getting the job. He is not getting the job. Will he be called as underemployment? Yes, he will be called as underemployed. Will he be called as unemployed? Yes, he will be called as unemployed. Why? Because he wants the job full-time. He is not getting the job full-time. So he is also demanding the job, and he is also not getting the job. Fine. So yes, they do fall. They do fall. Yeah, let's move on to the next part. Next part is vulnerable uh, employment now. Unemployment. This part, I have already told you before. Domestic workers, etc. We have talked about that. At that point of time, I told you this. Basically, what happens? This is nothing but this means people working informally without paying income tax. Okay, 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 without records of their work are never maintained ye humne pehle bhi dekha tha jab bhi causes pad rahe the tabhi bhi humne dekha tha that records of their work is not maintained fine it is one of the main types of unemployment in india yes this is also one of the main types of unemployment in india theek hai jab bhi wo humne example gina tha pakode wala that this is nothing but that example in which that guy is what he is facing the problem of vulnerable unemployment theek hai uska record of his work is not properly maintained theek hai and that's the reason why india mein unemployment figures itne zyada high hote So these were the different types of unemployment. Keep this in mind. They have asked the question on disguised unemployment earlier. They can ask the question again. Maybe they'll give you a scenario, and they'll, they'll ask. They'll, they'll tell you this thing. In this situation, may what kind of type of unemployment will happen? Because they may give you this kind of questions. So be alert. Be aware. Okay, let me take. Let me give you one particular. Before even going to this topic, before even going to associated terms, let me ask you one question. And uh, let me take one. ओके अगर ऐसा सिचुएशन हुआ दैट आई होप यू नो इलॉन मस्क अच्छा प्रीवियस स्लाइड यू वांट टू गो फाइन सरली जस्ट लेट मी नो व्हेन यू डन कॉपिंग दिस टेल देन लेट मी आस्क यू क्वेश्चन सीजनल वन अच्छा सीजनल वन यू वांट हियर इट इज Yes, let me ask. Let me ask you this: that I hope you know, many, many, not just Elon Musk, but many companies of the world are going for something called as the AI, artificial intelligence. Okay, or AI ka one of the roles is said to be in uh, self-driving cars. Okay, self-driving cars. Let's assume self-driving cars comes up in the future. So because of that, driver ka jo bhi job rahega, wo job fine. Driver ka bhi job rahega, wo job usko nahi mil raha bhi. He is unemployed. What type of unemployment will it be? What type of unemployment will it be? Because of advent of AI and self-driving cars, the drivers are left jobless. What type of unemployment will it be? All of you guys are coming with correct answer. Yes, very true, very true. Nice. Yes, that's the answer. The answer is structural unemployment because there is advent of new technology. There is been an advent of new technology. Fine. Okay, now let me ask you a question. Uh, A guy who had uh, uh, a guy who was working in one of the IT industries right now. Uh, he has yes, sure, I share. A guy who was working in one of the IT industries right now. Now, because of this situation of uh, COVID nineteen and a lot of attrition rate and a lot of uh, job losses in the private sector, we see him losing his job, and ultimately he is now selling uh, vegetables on the street. What type of unemployment will that be? And then, correct, very true. See now, try to understand. It is not hard and fast. Key underemployment, you vulnerable employment, unemployment will be high. 
okay you'll be called you'll be considered one why has it it won't be considered structural it will rather be either vulnerable or under employment you can consider it either of these two okay but on the employment priorly primarily because i have given you this kind of example okay I'll, let me ask you another question let me ask you another question uh ओके एक हाउस होल्ड बिजनेस है और वो बिजनेस ऐसा है दैट अभी तक तो वो बिजनेस है एक ही बंदा काम कर रहा था बट नाउ वी सडनली सी नो यू वॉन्ट स्टिल कंसिडर इट अंडर वॉट वॉट एम फॉर एम्प्लॉयमेंट डिमांड कम होने की वजह से नहीं डिमांड कम होने की वजह से इट्स टू फारेच टू कंसिडर के डिमांड कम होने की आई टी इंडस्ट्री में जॉब लॉस सिर्फ डिमांड की वजह से थोड़ी शायद से उसको अच्छा खासा मे बी दैट एंटी इंडस्ट्री अभी उनके पास क्लाइंट बेस ज्यादा भी रहेंगे ठीक है दे मे हैव मोर क्लाइंट बेस बट राइट नाउ द आई टी इंडस्ट्री इज फीलिंग दिस थिंग मेरा एक्सपेंसिस जो भी था वो जैसे मैंने पूरा आई टी पार्क वगैरह सेटअप किया वो लीज दे रहा है उसका तो उसके एक्सपेंसिस बढ़ गए ठीक है सो बिकॉज ऑफ दो एक्सपेंसिस ऑफ द आई टी इंडस्ट्री में फील डिमांड उसका सेम रहेगा बट बिकॉज ऑफ द हायर एक्सपेंसिस जो भी वो एक्सपेंस के ऊपर उसने पूरा आई टी फार्म वगैरह सेटअप किया उसके वजह से उसको कॉस्ट कटिंग के लिए ठीक है एक हाउस होल्ड है और उसमें अभी तक ऐसा हो रहा था दैट वहां पे एक अभी तक सिर्फ द हाउस वाइफ वॉज इन्वॉल्व इन दैट आचार बापर का बिजनेस ठीक है देर इज देर इज समन माधवी बाबी ठीक है शी शी वॉज इन आचार बापर का बिजनेस बट नाउ सडनली हिज हजबेंड हु वॉज अंटिल नाउ अ स्कूल टीचर ही बिकम्स जॉबलेस बिकॉज द स्कूल आर नॉट वर्किंग राइट नाउ इन स्कूल में बहुत ज्यादा एडमिशन हो रहा है ठीक है सो एंड नाउ वो आचार बाबर के बिजनेस में वो माधवी भाभी के साथ अभी भीड़े भाई साहब भी साथ में है ठीक है सो वॉट टाइप ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट विल दैट बी जैसे उसका रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं था भीड़े का रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं था बट सिर्फ माधवी का रिक्वायरमेंट था ठीक है सो वॉट टाइप ऑफ दिस गाइज दिस गाइज वॉट कैंड ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स आई माई कमिंग अप इवन आई एम सरप्राइज विथ माई सेल्फ ठीक है सो लेट्स कूल यू गाइज अंडरस्टेड दिस लेट्स मूव ऑन लेट्स गुड दैक्स टाइप ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट Okay, so now not necessary, but then I I'm pretty much sure that you guys after giving these answers, you guys have understood this type of unemployment. Let's go to the next type, the next topic. The next topic is associated terms. Let's try to understand these. Okay. So, yes. So there is something called as working age population. There is something called as working age population. क्या होता है? It's nothing but the proportion of demography aged between 15 to 64 years. India's working age population is around 363.4 percent. Okay, so India में working age population कितना 63.4 percent. Basically, the percentage of people, the percentage of total population, age between 15 years to 64 years, is called as working age population. The percentage of people, total people in the country, age from 15 to 64, they are said to be working age people. Okay, so उनका population कितना 63.4. Now, is this something which is a good thing for India? Can anyone tell me is this a good thing for India? India में इतने सारे लोग Are in working age. Is it a good thing for India? Just tell me, good or bad? All of you guys are saying yes. It is a good thing. It is a good thing. Why it is a good thing? Because जितने ज़्यादा लोग आपके working age में हैं, उतने आपके dependents कम हैं. उतने आपके dependents कम हैं. Dependents मतलब क्या? Dependents मतलब वो लोग who are not involved in the economy. Who are not working in the economy, but they have the ones who are consuming a lot. Okay, so they dependent on that. They are not contributing anything to the economy. Or in fact, उनके पीछे उनके खर्चे के पीछे जो working age population होता है, उनको invest करना पड़ता है. जैसे the parents, okay, or the children. Okay, they are considered to be what? They are considered dependent population. Okay, अगर dependent नहीं country का dependent population ज़्यादा है, मतलब working age population कम है और working age population कम हो रहा है, इसका मतलब the country का प्रारूप अपनी कंट्री के पास इतना लेबर फोर्स है ही नहीं कि वो आगे और ज्यादा जीडीपी को आगे खींच पाए गेटिंग इट ठीक है सो दैट्स नथिंग बट द वर्किंग एज पॉपुलेशन लेट्स 
India may 63.4% is one of the highest in the world. And that's something which is really good. Let's move on to the next part. The next is dependency ratio. As I already told you, working age population or dependent population are sort of uh, complementary to each other. Working age population plus uh, dependent population com comes out to be the total population of the entire country. Yeah, what is Dependency ratio must okay, it refers to the ratio of the person of age under 15 and over 64. It refers to the ratio of the ratio of persons of the age under 15 and over 64 to the persons of the age 15 to 64. Divided by the persons of the age 15 to 64. So basically, what about persons between 15 to 64 are defined as uh, forgive me, ye mene, again something wrong I have written here. Person from 15 to 64 are defined as dependent population and those between 15 and 64 are working age. Forgive me, this is something which is, uh, it's not 15 to 64, it's less than 15 and more than 64. Fine, it's less than 16 and more than 64. So, ye thoda change kar lena hai aapne. Okay, this has to be a human error. Fine, so just change this. And uh, anyways, yes, we were discussing if dependency ratio was kya hota hai. Basically, the people who are children and the old age, they will be there in the numerator, divided by the people of the working age population. People of the working age population. So that is called as dependency ratio. That is dependency ratio. Cool. Jitana dependency ratio come hoga, utana better hoga. Q, 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 dependence come hai. There are less dependence in the economy. Or working age population jada. So that is always good. Fine. Have you understood this until now? Because now we are going to the next concept, which I want you guys to understand very clearly. Have you understood until now? If yes, type clear in the chat box. Type clear in the chat box. So let's let's discuss let's discuss the next point. Or I want you guys to understand this. Yes, we'll be understanding something called as demographic dividend. In fact, so let's not even go into this. Let's first try to understand the term demographic dividend. Demographic dividend. Just break the word. Tell me what is the meaning of demography first. Just tell me the meaning of demography first. Demographic dividend. Very true. Demographic of the population. Demographic dividend. But demographic at least some of the demographic of the population. Not exactly sex ratio, but yes, population. Study of population, population, anything. But basically, it's something pertaining to population. Dividend of the count. What is the meaning of the word dividend? Income, yes, or very true. Anyone else? Correct. Correct. All of you guys are saying, yes, dividend matlab kya basically something monetary. Income, return on investment, money, sum of money. So it's nothing but it's a, it's a monetary term. Demography matlab population or dividend matlab something monetary. Try to understand demographic dividend is ka matlab yeh yeh that population se tumare economy mein fayda hune wala kitna kitna fayda hoga. That is demographic dividend. Because of the population how much benefit you get in your economy, in your GDP, that is nothing but demographic dividend. So demography, we understood, it's nothing but population dividend. It's something which is a monetary term. Demographic dividend is a term which shows the benefit because of demography you are getting in your economy. Okay, that's nothing in monetary terms. That's nothing but demographic dividend. Let's try to read this. I said demographic dividend kabhi jada ho. Can you tell me what, when will the demographic dividend be high? When will the demographic, when will the demographic dividend be high? I'll ask you the question and I'll give you the options. A, will the demographic dividend be high when there is less working age population? B, will the demographic dividend be high when there is high working age population? A or B? Is it A or B? Anyone else? Correct, correct. So we just understood right now, working age population is more than We understood the concept of the term demographic dividend. Of course, now we understood the demographic dividend will be high, will be more recognizable, more cognizable when kabhi, jabhi, walking is population jada, dependent population come in. Let's read now. Now let's read the word demographic dividend. So demographic dividend means kya? Demographically linked economic boost caused by rise in the working age population and a consequent drop in the dependent population. India, 
is currently reaping the benefits of demographic activity. Yes, very true. Have you understood this term? Demographically, let me read it once again. Demographically linked. Economic boost. I mean, economic boost mila kiski wajah se? Demographic ke wajah se. Caused by rise in the working age population. So, I mean, there is rise in the working age population and consequent drop in the dependent population. So, working age population bada hai aur uski wajah se dependent population kam ho raha hai. Aur ye sab chizo ke wajah se. We see what we see demographic dividend. India is currently reaping the benefits of demographic dividend. India is currently reaping the benefits of demographic dividend. Are you getting this? Okay, so in fact, so let me tell you this. Every country across the world experiences this high working age population. Every country experiences. Jabhi ho country, in fact, there was uh, Rostro, this was Rostro, I guess. But uh, Rostro, his economic plan, tha. there is one model. So, he said that every country is underdeveloped. And in five states, ke jane ke baad mein, a country is developed. Okay, so Rostro is a model. And in that model, mein, our country under developed said develop ki taraf aise travel karta and goes through different stages this was what he used to say okay and when the country travels from being under developed to develop okay at one point of time jab bhi wo country under developed tha pehle tabhi kya tha tabhi wo country mein bahut bada economic uh, demography base tha but the population of the country bahut zyada high tha uska reproduction bahut zyada high hota tha okay but at one point of time theory of demographic transition that's great uh, have you guys been taught about this in geography? Nakul says theory of demographic transition. Have you guys been taught about this in geography? If yes, type yes in the chat box. Geography chalu hua? You are taught only polity. Yeah, achha, yehi to chapsi chalu hua hai ke. Fine, dig it. So, I guess uh, geography is not history, I mean, the last time you said history is not history. Yeah, so we discussed uh, demographic dividend and the concept of economic Let me just, just one second. And let's do one thing. Uh, I'll teach you this in detail. I'll throw a time because there's just one slide left. I'll tell you the details of demographic dividend and all. I'll tell you the concept of that. Okay, let's do one thing. Hold this thought of demographic dividend in your mind. Let's just deal with the next slide. Once we are done with the next slide, we'll come back to the uh, this concept. Also, let's do one thing. Let's do one. Let me stop sharing the screen right now. Let me start. Let me. Just one second. Can you guys see the shared screen? Can you guys see the shared screen? It's nothing but a whiteboard. Can you see this? Okay, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let's start drawing something. And try to understand. Every country, as Nakul says, a demographic transition theory. A Rostro ka economic plan. And every country, every country, kya kata, ek Demographic transition. See, this, this is x and y axis. This is nothing but time. Basically, our axis is nothing but time. Okay, it's nothing but temporal. It's time. Or ye jo y axis hai, wo y axis shows death rate and birth rate. Y axis shows death rate and birth rate. Okay. So demographic transition theory kya bota hai? Demographic transition theory is bota hai that her country goes through these four stages. Then we continue to develop both of it goes through these four stages. Four stages here. Okay, so ye, let's consider black or just let, let me draw some other pen. Let's consider this line, this line as the death rate one line. This line is the death rate. This is the death rate one line. Okay. And at the same time, let me consider another, let, let me draw this. This is another line which is the birth rate one line. Okay, this is another line which is the birth rate one line. So, demographic transition theory, ye theory kya bota hai? Ye thoda, ye dekho, ye, it's not something which is required for you in the foundational lectures, but this, it will bring you more clarity about demographic transition. That's the reason why I'm doing it. Just try to understand this concept. No need to write on anything. I don't think so. they'll be asking a question on this. Try to understand the concept. So, kya hai? death rate, we draw a death rate, or we have a birth rate. Bhi Draw here. Ye kya bode, ye wo aisa bode, that jabhi pehle sub country underdeveloped thay, 
एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वो कंट्री में एक तो डेथ रेट हाई था डेथ रेट हाई क्यों था क्योंकि कंट्री अंडर डेवलप्ड है वहां पे अंडर डेवलप कंट्री में क्या हो रहा है सिचुएशन ऐसा है कि वहां पे कोई इकोनॉमी वगैरह कुछ इतना डेवलप है ही नहीं ठीक है वेन द कंट्री इज अंडर डेवलप द इकोनॉमी इज नॉट दैट वेल फॉर्म इकोनॉमी इतना ज्यादा डेवलप हुआ नहीं है तो मेडिकल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर भी इतना ज्यादा है नहीं मेडिकल इंफ्रा इतना ज्यादा है नहीं तो सिचुएशन ऐसा है दैट मेनी पीपल आर डाइंग डेथ रेट इज हाई इवन फॉर द डिजीज विच कुड है डिजीजेज के लिए भी पीपल आर डाइंग वो डिजीजेज के लिए भी पीपल आर डाइंग सो दैट द रीजन वाई द डेथ रेट इज हाई and since the death rate is high what do parents do parents also do this thing if the death rate be high parents are also aware of this thing ki ha re yaar i'll i'll maybe i'll 6 uh, 7 uh, bachche kar lete aur 6 7 bachche karne ke baad usme se teen to waise bhi marte hai theek hai so this is a very crude way yes manas so this is a very crude way in which i'm telling this but then try to understand this uh, because death rate is high the parents also think this ke 7 8 bachche karenge तीन चार मर जाएंगे बचेंगे चार पांच जो भी बचे बचेंगे ठीक है सो अल्टीमेटली वी हैव एटलीस्ट फोर टू फाइव चिल्ड्रन इन फैमिली सो दैट वे द पेरेंट्स यू शुड थिंक ठीक है सो क्या होता था पहले डेथ रेट भी हाई अंडर डेवलप कंट्री की बात करो डेथ रेट भी हाई होता था और उसकी वजह से क्या हो रहा है उसकी वजह से बर्थ रेट भी हाई है बिकॉज पेरेंट्स प्रोक्रिएट अलॉट ठीक है प्रोक्रिएट अलॉट एंड वेन दिस हैपन्स दिस वॉज द सिनारी ऑल इन बाद में क्या होता है बाद में ऐसा होता है दैट वो कंट्री ट्रांजिशन करते हैं दूसरे कंट्री वो कंट्री में कुछ तो बिकॉज ऑफ साइंटिफिक रेवोल्यूशन बिकॉज ऑफ समर डेवलपमेंट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ साइंटिफिक डेवलपमेंट इन दैट कंट्री वॉट हैपन्स दैट कंट्री गोज इन टू अर इकोनॉमिक स्ट्रेटा गोज इन टू अर इकोनॉमिक स्ट्रेटा एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वो कंट्री में आर एन डी बढ़ता है मेडिकल में इन्वेस्टमेंट वगैरह बढ़ेगा प्रॉपर हॉस्पिटल वगैरह होंगे जब भी प्रॉपर हॉस्पिटल होंगे एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वो कंट्री ऐसा सोचेगा दैट वो वॉट विल हैपन इन दैट कंट्री सडनली वी सी दिस थिंग दैट द डेथ रेट इज कमिंग डाउन डेल बी वन ट्रांजिशन इन बिटवीन एक बीच में यहाँ पे कहीं पे तो ट्रांजिशन होगा और वो ट्रांजिशन की वजह से क्या होगा जो डेथ रेट है वो डेथ रेट कम होगा सो डेथ रेट कम हो रहा है ठीक है वो वो कंट्री में डेथ रेट कम हो और बाद में वो कम होके एक लेवल पे आ जाएगा क्यों क्योंकि वहां पे इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट हुआ है उसकी वजह से मेडिकल में फार्मेसी फार्मास्यूटिकल वगैरह में वो सब में इन्वेस्टमेंट बढ़ा है उसकी वजह से डेथ कम हो रहा है ठीक है डेथ कम हो रहा है बट क्या इसका इम्पैक्ट इमीडिएटली हम लोग को बर्थ रेट में दिखेगा नहीं बर्थ रेट में इसका इम्पैक्ट इमीडिएटली दिखता है क्या होता है अल्टीमेटली बर्थ रेट हम लोग को ऐसा दिखता है बर्थ स्टिल हाई बर्थ रेट इज स्टिल हाई डेथ रेट डिक्रीजेस डेथ रेट कम्स टू अ लोअर लेवल बट द बर्थ रेट इज स्टिल हाई बर्थ रेट इज स्टिल हाई ऐसा हम लोग को वो सिचुएशन वो एक फेज में दिखता है सो दैट इज द फेज दैट इज द सेकेंड फेज दैट इज द सेकेंड फेज ये वो वाला फेज होता है देन वी सी दिस थिंग के हाँ रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू द डेथ रेट the birth rate will also decline at one point of time the birth rate will also decline the birth rate will come down and will reach here the birth rate will also decline and that point of time when the birth rate is declined at that point of time when the birth rate is declined it is this rate at that point of time we realize this thing ki ha the country has entered into what the country had entered into a stage the country has entered into a stage which is said to be a developed stage which is said to be a developed stage so as a har country transition marta hai ye pehle stage this is the stage 1 this is the stage 2 This is the stage three, and this is the last stage four. Okay, our country is in four stages. We say transition will be done. Okay, stage one, who was the stage? This country underdeveloped. Tha. Underdeveloped. Tha, so medicine, etc. There was no investment. In medicine, there was no investment. 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 and now less people are dying okay communicable disease ke against vaccine wagera ban gaya okay and less people are dying and when less people are dying as a what death rate come gaya that is the second stage this is the second stage i am talking about death rate come but birth rate abhi bhi high hi tha uske baad at one point of time the birth rate will also respond to the death rate it will also come down it will also come down okay and at that point of time ultimately the birth rate will also come down the both death and death rate and the birth rate will merge and we see a country going through these four stages We see a country going through these four stages. Are you with me until now? If yes, type yes. Okay, because now we are sort of going to complicate the issue. Abhi the complicated nika, aage complicate karenge. Nice. So try to understand. Just tell me this basic something which is basic common sense. Tell me when the 
ग्रोथ इन डेमोग्राफी इन दंट्री विल है पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ कभी होगा क्या पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ तभी होगा जब भी डेथ रेट और बर्थ रेट हाई है या पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ आई मीन आई एम जस्ट आस्किंग विच स्टेज विल पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ है क्या विल बी स्टेज वन स्टेज टू स्टेज थ्री और स्टेज फोर अप्लाई कॉमन सेंस एंड यूल बी एबल टू कम टू आर आंसर क्या लगता है पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ कभी होगा विल बी इन स्टेज वन स्टेज टू स्टेज थ्री और स्टेज फोर पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ कभी होगा स्टेज वन टू थ्री और फोर फाइन आई एम नॉट गेटिंग आंसर्स बट ये नकुल एज आंसर करेक्टली नो इट्स नॉट किरण इट्स नॉट वन एंड टू कैट अंडरस्टैंड किरण स्टेज वन में क्या हो रहा है यस द आंसर इज टू एंड थ्री स्टेज वन में क्या हो रहा है स्टेज वन में डेथ रेट हाई है बट बर्थ रेट भी हाई है ठीक है बर्थ रेट हाई है तो कुछ ज्यादा फर्क नहीं करता क्योंकि डेथ रेट भी हाई है बर्थ रेट ज्यादा है ऑफकोर्स बी मोर पीपल हुई टेकिंग बर्थ एट द सेम टाइम डेथ रेट इज ऑल्सो हाई ना डेथ रेट इज ऑल्सो हाई सो इक्वल नंबर ऑफ पीपल आर डाइंग सो इन यू जस्ट नोट ए स्टेज वन एंड स्टेज फोर स्टेज वन और स्टेज फोर दीज आर द टू स्टेज जिसमें बर्थ रेट और डेथ रेट या तो फिर दोनों हाई या तो फिर दोनों लो है इफ द बर्थ रेट इज हाई बट एट द सेम टाइम डेथ रेट इज हाई देर आर नॉट मेरी पीपल इन द कंट्री The, the population is more or less stagnant. In stage four also, if the death birth rate is less, but death rate is also less. In that situation, the country's population will be stable. The country's population will be growing when it will be growing only when there is a difference between birth rate and death rate. Birth rate or death rate के बीच में जब difference होगा, वो time पे country का population grow करेगा. मतलब कौन सा time? It is this time. It is this time. Can you understand this? ये stage two or stage three ऐसा stage होता है, जिसमें डेथ रेट तो कम हो गया मतलब पब्लिक कम कम लोग मर रहे हैं बट बॉन्ड बर्थ रेट अभी भी हाई है बर्थ रेट अभी सो देर आर मोर पीपल हुआ टेकिंग बॉन्ड हुआ हुआ टेकिंग बर्थ बट लेस पीपल हुआ डाइंग ठीक है लेस पीपल आर डाइंग मोर पीपल आर टेकिंग बर्थ आर यू गेटिंग इट सो इट्स स्टेज टू एंड स्टेज थ्री इन विच पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ हैपन्स स्टेज टू एंड स्टेज थ्री इन विच पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ हैपन्स स्टेज वन एंड स्टेज फोर लेस पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ पॉपुलेशन मोर लेस टैगनेट Stage two and stage three population growth happens. Okay, so these four stages are aligned are aligned with what the population of the country. They are also aligned with economic development, scientific development of the country. Okay, they are also aligned with economic development. यहाँ से यहाँ scientific development भी हो रहा है, यहाँ से यहाँ economic development भी हो रहा है, और यहाँ से यहाँ demography में change भी हो रहा है. Are you getting my point? Have you understood this? Is stage two and stage three में population growth होता है? If yes, type yes in the chat box. If yes, type yes in the chat box. That's great. Now you guys have understood this. Now you guys have understood this. This was demographic transition. You have understood this. Keep this thought in your mind. Keep this thought in your mind. And let me take you to another term. The other term is something called as cohort. Cohort. Let me type it, and you will be able to understand. Maybe. Have you heard of this term, cohort? Look in the chat box. Have you heard of this term, cohort? That's great. That's great, Ravi. Very nice. But let me tell you what exactly it is, because I'm assuming not many people do know this. Cohort means that cohort is nothing but a type of graph, nothing but a type of graph, which gives you an idea about the population of the country. Let's look at that. Let me let me show you this. Cohort means that it's such a thing that this. This is the population of the country, and this is the number of men's, and this is the number of females or women's, the males and the females, and that is the population of the country. So this is nothing but quote. Now, if I if suppose I draw a graph like this, and that's nothing but quote. If suppose I draw a graph like this, try to understand. If I if I draw a graph like this, so every country can have a different quote. Every country can have a different quote. So this can be one of the quotes. A country can have this as a quote. Country can have this as a cohort, maybe. This can also be a cohort. Are you getting it? So there can be different graphs on this. This can be different, which will give you an idea about country's situation. Kesa? Which will give you an idea about country's situation. Kesa? Okay. So try to understand. Let's build this cohort for India in for all the stages. Let's build this cohort for India for all the stages. Let's build this cohort for India. Fine. So, आप ये बात समझो दैट एवरी कंट्री गोज थ्रू स्टेज वन स्टेज टू स्टेज थ्री एंड स्टेज फोर यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस ऑल थ्रो 
स्टेज वन मतलब अंडर डेवलप स्टेज टू मतलब थोड़ा बहुत डेवलप हो रहा है और थोड़ा स्टेज थ्री मतलब और थोड़ा डेवलप हो रहा है स्टेज फोर मतलब डेवलप स्टेज ठीक है तो एवरी कंट्री गोस टू दिसज वन टू स्टेज फोर स्टेज वन अंडर डेवलप स्टेज टू एंड थ्री डेवलपिंग एंड स्टेज फोर डेवलप स्टेज फोर इज डेवलप ठीक है इंडिया राइट नाउ इंडिया इज विच कंट्री इज इंडिया डेवलप कंट्री और डेवलपिंग कंट्री इंडिया इज विच कंट्री डेवलप और डेवलपिंग We are a developing country. Which stage should we be in? Which stage should we be in? Should we should we be in stage one or four, or should we be in stage two and three? Stage two and three, yeah, stage. Yes, yes. So we are right. All of you guys are correct. We are right now in stage two and three. मतलब क्या अपने death rate तो कम हुआ है, but अभी भी birth rate अभी high था. ठीक है. Let me tell you this precisely. India exactly. No one has confirmed this, but then. You will be able to understand this that India has left stage two. India is in stage three, where the birth rate is declining. How can I say this? I can say this because look at the generational data. How many of you guys? Many of you, in fact, I shouldn't even ask how many of you guys. Many of you guys must have noticed this thing that when your father and your parents had uh, the children, you may be having either one or two siblings. Yeah, you may be having either one or two. You may have a, a, another brother or maybe a sister or someone. ठीक है तो एक रहेगा या फिर एक या दो बच्चे या तीन बच्चे होंगे योर पेरेंट्स यू मे वन टू सिब्लिक्स बट डू यू नोटिस दिस दैट योर पेरेंट्स पेरेंट्स मतलब योर ग्रैंड फादर्स योर ग्रैंड फादर यूज टू फोर टू फाइव चिल्ड्रेन और मे बी इवन मोर ठीक है दिस इज अटोरी एट माई प्लेस ऑल्सो ठीक है इवन इन एट योर प्लेस ऑल्सो यू मे हैव नोटिस दिस थिंग योर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स हैड फोर फाइव चिल्ड्रेन यू हैव वन टू मासीज एंड वन टू मामाज एंड ऑल फॉर नॉट ठीक है एट हम दो हमारे दो ऐसे लिप्टम हो रहा है या फिर वी यूजली टेन टू प्रमोट टू चाइल्ड पॉलिसी और वन चाइल्ड पॉलिसी ऐसा हम लोग हम लोग चाइना जैसा नहीं है फोर्सफुल ऐसा करेंगे बट वी आर सॉर्ट ऑफ इंसेंटिवाइजिंग पीपल राइट डोंट हैव मोर देन टू चिल्ड्रन फाइन व्हाई बिकॉज वी हैव गॉन इनटू द स्टेज थ्री एंड स्टेज थ्री में क्या होता है दो बच्चे या दो या एक बच्चा होगा ठीक है सो दैट वी वी आर आर बर्थ रेट इज डिक्लाइन सॉर्ट ऑफ आई फील वी आर राइट नाउ इन दिस स्टेज इन दिस स्टेज स्टेज थ्री वाले स्टेज में स्टेज थ्री वाले स्टेज बट ये स्टेज में होता क्या है ये स्टेज में ऐसा होता है ये स्टेज में ऐसा होता है जब ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड If this is the number of males in the country, if this is the number of females in the country, and if this is the age, I just okay, I I must have written population here, but this is the age, this is the age, okay. So, ye age zero, this is the age zero, and this is the age of seventy years. This is the age of seventy years. Let's assume this thing. You upper wala that is age of seventy years, which is age zero. So, try to understand. Agar ek country stage one, stage two, stage three, or stage four se ja raha hai, to uska cohort kaisa lagega? कोहोट ऐसा उस कंट्री का कोर्ट रहेगा क्यों क्योंकि सी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड जीरो पे अगर ये इतना वैल्यू इतना ज्यादा है जीरो पे अगर ये वैल्यू इतना ज्यादा है इसका मतलब क्या देर आर मोर पीपल हुआ गेटिंग बर्थ देर आर मोर पीपल हुआ टेकिंग बर्थ ठीक है सो जीरो पे उसका बेस बहुत बड़ा है इसका मतलब क्या देर आर मोर पीपल हुआ टेकिंग बर्थ ठीक है और मैंने अपर लिमिट भी यहां पर कितना रखा है ये सेवेंटी नहीं ये फिफ्टी है अपर लिमिट फिफ्टी है इसका मतलब क्या जब पचास की एज में तो ऑलमोस्ट सब लोग मर जाते हैं ठीक है सब लोग मोर पीपल आर टेकिंग बर्थ बट दे कीप ऑन डाइंग दे कीप ऑन डाइंग दे कीप ऑन डाइंग एंड वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम एट द एज ऑफ 50 ऑलमोस्ट एवरीवन इज गेटिंग द एंटायर कंट्री ठीक है सर व्हाट इज इन द वाई एक्सिस वाई एक्सिस मतलब एज वाई एक्सिस एज ठीक है वाई एक्सिस में जीरो ये जीरो मतलब क्या जीरो एट द एज जीरो मतलब एट द टाइम ऑफ टेकिंग बर्थ देयर आर मोर पीपल हु आर टेकिंग बर्थ बट देन दे कीप ऑन डाइंग दे कीप ऑन डाइंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ वन ऑफ द अदर डिजीजेस एट द एज ऑफ 50 एट द एज ऑफ 50 ऑलमोस्ट एवरीवन इज डेड That is the situation of stage one when the death rate is also high and the birth rate is also high. When the death rate is also high, when the birth rate is also high. Have you understood this? If yes, type yes. Have you understood this? 
death rate is also high, the birth rate is also high. Have you understood this? Cool. So that is the stage one ka code. That is the stage one ka code. What will be the stage four ka code? Let's directly go to the stage four ka code. Let me show you the stage four ka code. Stage four ka code kuch is tarah rahega. That, if I'm showing you the code of stage four, it will be something like this. That less number of people are taking birth. Let's, I'll use a different pen again. Yes, less number of people are taking birth. This is the birth rate. Matlab zero pe ye birth rate hai. And less number of people are taking birth. Less number of people are dying. Mar bhi kaun ho raha hai. तो आइडियल सिचुएशन के मतलब कोई मरता नहीं लेट्स कंसीडर द डेथ टू बी ऑलमोस्ट जीरो सो आइडियल सिचुएशन कुछ इस तरह रहेगा इन शॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक दिस और जापान में जापान तो उल्टा अलग सिचुएशन है जापान थोड़ा डिफरेंट है बट कैन यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस विद लेस नंबर ऑफ पीपल आर टेकिंग बर्थ बट ऑल ऑफ देम आर सरवाइविंग बिकॉज़ डेथ रेट इज आल्सो लेस ठीक है एट वन पर्टिकुलर ऑफ कोर्स ऐसा नहीं रहेगा ऊपर जाके कि हां 70 के एज में सब लोग एक साथ सब लोग मर रहे हैं ऐसा नहीं है ये दोनों कोर्स के बीच में ये दोनों कोर्स के बीच में एक ऐसा टाइम आता है कि जब ये कंट्री एक ये स्टेज वन और स्टेज फोर के बीच में जा रहा है तो एक ऐसा टाइम आएगा जब भी वो कंट्री में रियलाइजेशन होगा कि हाँ स्पेस नाउ आई है स्पेस बिकॉज आई नीड बोथ दिस ग्राफ्स So let me draw here. So between these two stages, there will be once a time. Between these two stages, there will be once a time. Between these two stages, there will be once a time. There will be a country where. If this is, what will the code of stage two and stage three? दोनों का कोड कुछ इस तरह रहेगा दैट ठीक है बहुत लोगों ने बॉन्ड तो कर लिए बहुत लोगों ने बॉन्ड तो कर लिए नाउ दे हैव गॉन इनटू आवर अपर स्टेज सो अगर ये दिस वाज वन ऑफ द स्टेजेस व्हाट विल हैपन सडनली देयर विल बी ड्रॉप इन द बर्थ रेट देयर विल बी ड्रॉप इन द बर्थ रेट सो लेट मी ड्रॉ अप विद सडनली देयर इज अ ड्रॉप इन द बर्थ रेट देयर इज अ ड्रॉप इन द बर्थ रेट बट व्हेन द पीपल इन दैट एज ग्रुप लुक एट देयर एल्डर्स दे विल रियलाइज क्योंकि एल्डर्स तो पांच छह मतलब एवरीवन फाइव सिक्स सेवन मासा मासी देन मामा मामी एंड व्हाट काका काकी ठीक है काकू जो भी बोलते ठीक है सो दैट द चिल्ड्रंस विल सी कि हां देयर पेरेंट्स हैव सो मेनी सिब्लिंग्स दे हैव हार्डली वन और टू सिब्लिंग्स ठीक है सो दैट्स दैट्स द सिचुएशन व्हेन द कोर्ट ऑफ द कंट्री बी लाइक दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक दिस ओ Maybe a better one will be like this. Can you understand this? When you were children, when you were children, basically you were in this age group. When you were in this age group, ये नीचे वाला. When you were in this age group, you were looking at this. कि हाँ, every one of your parents had so many siblings. In your age group, you see this thing. कि हाँ, मेरे मेरे तो hardly एक मेरा एक ही भाई है, मेरे दो ही भाई हैं. या फिर ऐसे भाई या बहन जो भी है. ठीक है. So that's the time. That's the time of stage two and stage three. This is the time of stage two and three, stage three, and this is the time when a country has high working age population. ये वो वाला time है जब ये country के पास high working age population होता है. समझा आपको ये? Can you understand this? Have you understood? Have you understood this? जो भी हम लोगों ने अभी तक discuss किया. Basically, let me थोड़ा decongestion. See, this is the time. This is the time when the country has high working age population. Ye, ye wala, ye wala wo phase hota. Kabi stage two and stage three wala wo phase hota, jisme ek country ke pas high working age population rahega. Kyunki tabhi tum log bache the. You were kids at that point of time. You were under fifteen. Okay, so number of people under fifteen were so less. Number of people over sixty, sixty four were so less. And the number of people in the age group of let me use different when yes, number of people in the age group of working age. Ye wala jo age group tha, wo jada tha. There are many people who were in that age group. 
that is at the time when a country faces what that, that the country reaches the highest demographic dividend. The country gets the highest demographic dividend. Are you getting it? So every country at one point of time goes through demographic dividend. When it was in stage one, death rate high, birth rate high, some people are 50 years old. Okay, stage four is the stage where less people taking birth, less people dying. Ultimately, at one point of time, uh, everyone dies. Okay, and in between that, between stage one and stage four lies the stage of stage two and three, stage three, where the growth rate is high. But when the country tries to reduce growth rate, it reduces the birth rate. And when the country is narrow at the bottom, it is narrow at the top, and in between it is fat. In between it is broad, it is fat. Okay, that is the time when you see more people in the age group of 15 to 64. And that is the time when you see high working age population, and you see low dependent population, and you feel high demographic dividend. Samjha hiya abhi tak, ye pura Ram katha, kehne ka maksad yehi tha, aapko yeh samjha ne ke liye, that her, every country goes through stage 1 to stage 4, and every country faces demographic dividend, aur uske wajh se, demographic ke wajh se, her country mein thoda boost aja tha. So have you seen last few years data, India's GDP data, you realize this thing that India ka GDP aaram se, kuch na kiye, so also India's GDP is 6-8-7 percent. Okay, 7. In fact, at one of the times, UPA ke time pe ek baar aisa bhi wada, 2014 ke pehle aisa bhi wada, that we reach almost 8 percent. And people were expecting double digit growth rate. Because right now also, right now, if you see the population of the country, the code of the country is something like this. The code of the country is something like this. Okay, as between stage 2 and stage 3. Okay, and that's the reason why we naturally should have grown at 7-6-7-8 percent. हम लोगों को नेचुरली वो परसेंट पे तो ग्रो करना ही चाहिए था, but even prior to this lockdown, even prior to the COVID arrival, we were suffering with the growth rate, we were having less growth rate. COVID के आने में क्या वजह से तो now people are expecting negative growth rate, they are not even expecting growth, they are expecting contraction rather. मतलब अपना GDP zero से भी कम हो गया, ऐसा this is what people are saying. We naturally should have, अगर COVID नहीं होता था और अगर सब कुछ economy में भी सब कुछ अच्छा होता था, सब कुch problem नहीं होता था अभी तक so we should have naturally grown with the growth rate of 7 8 percent okay but unfortunately we are not taking the benefit of demographic dividend we are not taking the benefit of demographic dividend have you understood this have you understood the entire ram katha of demographic dividend demographic transition theory quotes and how a country passed through the demographic our country passed the india may abhi india abhi pass ho raha china pass ho chuka hai okay japan bahut pehle pass ho chuka europe or us bhi pass ho chuke isse all of them are right now in this stage. All of them are right now in this stage. This stage, this is a very accurate figure. It's not accurate. Of course, people keep on dying. It's a little bit tapering. But then all of them are right now in this stage. Japan is one stage further. In fact, Japan is something like this. If I show you Japan, it's something like this. I mean, there are more old-age population. Working-age population. So Japan is right now sort of like this. Are you getting it? So every country passes through this. Every country has taken the benefit of this. India is unfortunately not taking the benefit of this. India is not taking. We are not getting the growth rate of six, seven, eight percent. So, होना चाहिए था. Demography के वजह से. Naturally, because of demography itself, ये होना चाहिए. India is not taking the benefit of this. It is expected that India will lose its demographic advantage in the next twenty years. अगर next twenty years में if we are able to do something and if we are able to revive our demography. I mean, revive our economy and come back to 7-8%. Maybe even we can even reach uh, the double-digit figures. If that is the case, then India can dream of becoming a superpower. Until then, India should not expect to be a superpower. Are you getting into this? Have you understood the entire discussion until now? If yes, type yes in the chat box. Great, great. Really, really happy to see you all this. Yes. Great. That's great. So this should be invited in your minds. Have this in your minds. Okay, I'll, uh, maybe we don't have enough time right now. Let's do one thing. So, do all terms, do all terms. Next time, we'll do a Q&A. We'll do a Q&A for next time. You remind me about Chinese wala part next time. Who was the one who had asked me about Chinese? Who was the one who had asked me about the Chinese one? I, I won't scroll up. The chat box, but can someone ask me about the Chinese doubt, right? Chinese inclusion. Okay, anyways, we will we'll remember about the Chinese world apart. We'll discuss the Chinese current affair and all the six next time. So, yeah.
So I can write, I'll do that, I'll do that, okay. we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll get that arranged. Okay. But uh, uh, fine, you remind me of the Chinese wala thing next time? No issues, no issues. I'll do that. It was nothing, it was actually, we had done nothing but the revision of the previous lecture. So uh, we just have a look. It was the previous lectures we were discussing. It was nothing but the first three slides are nothing but definition, which was done last time. Also causes and effects. Because it was nothing but something which is done last time. So if you have already covered that, you need not do for that. But anyways, uh, let's stop the lecture here. We'll uh, discuss the rest of the part of my employment next time, unemployment next time. And remember, keep all these things in your mind. Next time, I won't invest this much time in explaining your demographic dividend a lot. Fine. So take care, guys. Uh, we'll stop the lecture here. Uh, stay at home, stay safe. Goodbye. See you. Bye. Thanks, Omkar. Thanks, Siddhi. Bye, Shuri. Bye, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you, Rupesh. Thank you, Mansi. Bye, Asher. Thanks, Manas. Even I enjoyed it. See you.